<laughs> Another thing that I actually do really like about having the 10 minute lead in is uh, for those that are watching live, like, sorry, sorry for you VOD viewers out there, but for those that are watching live, um, it makes it so that people that are not subscribed get to still watch without having to deal with an advertisement and you don't miss anything on the, at the beginning of the show, at least for the pre-roll. True, true and real. Trying to watch out for everyone else, you know? Oh, I just found a lighter? Oh, wait, no, it's a cork. God, I lost track of myself last night at the party. <laughs> That was such a good night, but so weird. Like, everything felt like a dream. I guess it kind of always does for me, though. Okay. Let's get Baldy Gate started up. And there's, there's your boyfriend on the front cover. He's hot as fuck. He really is. Like... I initially, I was like, eh, because I was expecting, like, uh, fucking, oh no, now I'm swearing. I'm so sorry, folks, uh, I need to change the title on this to be 18+, plus because I, I am not coherent enough to keep my filter on all the way. I'm gonna do what I can, but you know how it is. I'm sorry. The influence. Nah, it's, it's not just you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not just you. I'm... Definitely coping with some physical pain as well, and I I started my day off by like having cravings and deciding I want to like go resolve those cravings, and went to a couple of different stores in an attempt to do so, and just everywhere I went, it was a struggle. I forget that after I launch the game, I have to launch the game. Thank you, Steam, for making a launcher the button. Yeah, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. The other part that I'm, like, a little confused by is, uh, because I refuse to sign- Oh no, I am watching my- my VTuber go crunch, 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 and this is a fresh reboot. Why- why are we having problems? Is computer hot? Computer's not hot. Room isn't hot. I think it might just be because of starting. I hope. I hope that's what it is. Oh no. All right, now I gotta go look at task manager. There's no reason that everything should be stuttering like this. Wow! Did you know that just leaving the launcher running will eat over 5% of your CPU? Yeah, I, I always close the launcher of any game when I start it up just because of that. <laughs> there are some games that, like, that's not the case, but that was actually what the problem was. Holy cow! Also, I am really loving this Moonbase Alpha rendition of, um... <laughs> hey there, Dan. Hey there, Milky Taro. Uh... I'm loving this Moonbase Alpha rendition of all these different songs, especially the Cave Story. Um, because this is allowing me to listen to these songs <laughs> on the stream without having to worry about anything. <laughs> Although we got crossover audio here. Let's see. Is it gonna go... Okay, cool. Uh, where did Chatterino just go? Oh no, I have multiple instances of Chatterino running. Ba -ba -ba. I need to I need to finish Cave Story. I just uh I'm glad that we got this new keyboard for me to do so on because I was struggling with the old one. And it is it's one of those like pixel perfect if you don't have your jumps down, you're you're just not gonna make it. It's Celeste took notes from uh Cave Story, not the other way around. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanna I'm very tempted to go grab some cookies. I think I will. We got we got four minutes. I wanna grab some cookies. 
Cookies. I'm absolutely going to be stealing some of these little fan-made tracks for alerts later. Like, this is, this is great. <laughs> What if I just recorded this myself? What if I just me going blat 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 the entire song? Wait, what? What? Are the lyrics to this? What are they saying? I got no idea. <laughs> this is the sound of a defunct ship's AI singing to itself as it endlessly drifts through space in search of his long forgotten home. Aww. <laughs> You're playing Moon. Moon Gourmet Oatmeal Base Race Alpha. That was the name of that track. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... Wait, not load. Uh, wait, if I load, does it just drop you in? No. How do you multi? Session. Button. This person. Wait. Invit. Haha, I hit button. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then, I hit this button. Come on, Rick. So now what? We dig a hole and then be done with him? We... Oh, right. They just, like, have idle chatter as they're standing in the area. I forgot. Time for that. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. We left off next to a body. <laughs> um, we talked to a few people and got stuck in jail, got out of jail, convinced somebody that it was okay. Uh, got in trouble for breaking into a warehouse where somebody was, Please. there was a tiefling guarding a chest <clears throat> and a rat guided us into the room saying that something in the chest made it hurt. And so I was trying to help the rat and then we got in trouble with the tiefling who told us to get out of there.
I've got Lazelle and Gale with me. Am I? I'm in the wrong game. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, um, where's my character? I was trying to figure that out. I'm like, why is it not? These are the wrong characters, even. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I finally popped my hip after three days of it needing to. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> Nobody has said. You're good. Oh, I need to keep my face off my desk. There's a tarantula running around on it. That's fun. I was just hanging out and like chilling in voice, and a tarantula just idly walks out onto my lap from the desk. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I scoot back, and it goes back onto the uh the counter and starts crawling around and like underneath one of the uh the support beams on it so it's like in between the the frame and i just watch it go in there i'm like you little bastard you probably live in there and then it like comes back out and then goes back in and comes and it's just like making an s pattern as it's weaving around as though hunting along that column i'm like all right you're doing your own thing but leave me alone <laughs> okay this seems more like mom. it I, i'm trying to be nice to them like they take care of me so i help take care of them <laughs> Uh, okay. Whoa, Astarian has a sword sharpener. That's cool. Oh, everybody does. Everybody's got their own, like... I never took a time to look at anybody's little encampments. Lizelle's got a squid. Oh, no, it's, uh... An ith illithid. Uh, an illithid head. And a null head. Oh, stuffed hyena. Never mind. Stuffed ogre head. Oh, I forgot I have a spike shield now. It's so, like, raggedy, but it's so nice. I'm curious about this place. Is this where Withers lives? Maybe. No, Withers is back on the beach over there. What is this place? Because, like, we've camped in this spot more than once. This this castle thing has shown up next to where we camp a couple times. I also like that the camps change uh, based on the, the area that we're hanging out. Oh, there's Will. Yeah. Forgot about this Will. guy. Oh, I didn't even know he was joining us. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We That was the last thing that we did. We convinced Will to join us. Oh. There's a stone bed yeah. here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's stone. It bed. is my bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Oh, yeah, I have a wolf now! I forgot about you! Yeah. There's Withers hanging out on the beach. That's so weird. Okay, uh. I guess let's leave camp. Unless you're going to talk to any of the people here. Get more. I think that's what we did right before we hopped off, was talk to them all, all right? Oh. Or all no, right. no, we didn't. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Did Marty> leave? <laughs> yep. Uh, we're in the Blighted. Oh! We fought those goblins and then found out there was like an entire goblin dungeon. Oh. Because like we were looking over this vista here. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Mm, saw the big ass fucking encampment. Yeah, there's like a there's a whole castle, a fortress. So, we'll... are we taking just like the bridge and going through all the fortifications, or are we trying to go around somehow? I don't even know if we can. Uh, let's let's take the path. Okay. I want to see what's down the path, and if something comes in our way, we haven't had a problem killing anything. Oh, the brawlers are still just, like, walking around here. Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh. Scram! Huh. Use all those legs and get out of here. All those Oogie. legs. Alright, bye. Bye. See ya. Anything that... Anything that smells like we, I forgot about the the goblin saying that. A beehive. A beehive. Oh hey, Any I should bone. be doing alt scanning. There's mugwort over here. 
Because it's it's only based on proximity. Mm hmm. Why is. Let's get there. going. Can't give up now. There we go. That's not this way. Nothing up there? Not that I could see. Mm -hmm. I'm, Don't like, forget I'm doing to all take scanning. screenshots, Sandy. I know you love your screenshots. Aww. I'll need <laughs> to remember to do that, because I definitely haven't with any of our new equipment. This is a good spot. Everybody on the bridge. Yeah. Which uh, way are we looking? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Can I, can I turn them around? There we go. Uh... I mean, that is not. Let's see here. I need to figure out. Gale. I need to figure out how to hide the UI quickly with a hotkey is like what I really need. But I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, this we'll get this one. Can't reach destination. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. I can shrink the UI. That is one thing I can at least fix. So. Back over this way. Oh, I've got a ping for sharp. I need to read that. But where's gaming? Sorry, folks that are watching the show. I want to make certain that we can commemorate these moments and remember the silliness. <laughs> okay. And I also, yeah, these vistas are just gorgeous. Somebody took the time. I want to appreciate that art. Who just said that? Hmm? Did somebody say something? Yeah, somebody to my right. He was like, little blue beetle. Little blue beetle? Yeah, something like that. Uh -huh. I can pull out my main weapon. Do a little pose. Oh, I guess I could pull out my bow. Eh. Where is... First of all, where's my dog? Where is your dog? Uh, Dangerous Companion. Wolf. Right here. Also, I have the ability to summon other companions. Uh, a dire raven, a bear, a wolf spider, or a boar. But, you know it's going to be a wolf with me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right. Can I go? Yeah. Goblin camp. You caught fleas from the bloody wogs. <laughs> More likely huh? you gave that them the fleas. There's a alternate entrance over this way? Uh. Oh, uh, Sandy, F10 hides the UI. Oh, nice. Oh, is that... I will have to do that. What, There's who a said nerd what? behind us. A what? He just he ran after us. His his name is Sharp Eyed Snerd, and he ran after us when we walked up. Snerd, novice of the absolute. All right. I can see the absolute from here. I can. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> glad you can see them. There's a hole over here. Oh! Uh. Beware. <laughs> the place is trapped. After Dang. you walk into the explosive. Uh. Okay. That sucked. <laughs> I'll disarm it. Oh, bloody hell! I can't disarm that one. I heal. Self. I heal this guy. Right. Snerd seems to have joined us for some reason. His he also ribbit just healed hiss. himself. Huh. Sunlit wetlands. Yeah, he's just... This is like its own thing. He's just following us. Oh, there's a... There's a building over here. 
Over where? Huh. I'm uh map scanning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, if we if we cross over here. Wait, we can do like a little hide no. while on the I'm log. <laughs> Ten, uh, print screen. No, I wanted to get it while she was like having the the silly ballast. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this isn't showing up very well. <laughs> Let's see. Can I get it from? Oh, this would be. I hate that by doing the uh, crouch, it's like making stuff show up as red. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you go? Where is your character? I'm right next oh, to you. Oh, I see Gale. I don't see you. Uh, huh? You rolled a nat 20 on your hide. <laughs> I guess so. I, I actually don't see you. Where? I'm next to Gale. I'm over here, no longer hidden. Are we desynced? I see you on the map. I just don't see you. Whoa. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can we? Are we able to? Not we enough can space. Jump down. Wow. Minus ten HP. <laughs> <laughs> we could. What's a better... Maybe over by where the wolf's at. Let's see. It looks Go. like it might be... Not enough space. Path is interrupted. I mean, that looks like plenty of space to me. What about up? Invalid target, not enough space. So they, they really don't want us to go over there. I guess that the... I don't know. How are we supposed to... Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of, like, getting into the canyon. There's a chest down there that I want to get into. There's also a very large lizard, it looks like. Um... um... Maybe this is accessible from a different direction. Failed a perception check. I'm jumping across the little place over here. In the cave to see if there's anything to go around. Okay. Out of ash. Why am I... Yeah. Sylvad failed a perception check, so there's something there that's bad. I'm guessing it's more bombs. I'm gonna walk on Whoa. the side. <gasps> the wolf stepped on it. Should do a short rest. <laughs> Do you have health potions or no? Uh, I do, but health potions can be used as a uh, quick move or yeah. uh, quick action versus spell casting. Are we like somehow not in trouble here? Wouldn't support low ground. Oh, we could actually like knock out part of the gate here tactically. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you want to. They're touching or toasting? I can't tell. Hey there. Looking at a future true soul, you are. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. Well, that's cool. So we're allowed here. And an old Norder on Even though we just killed the guy. <laughs> they don't know. You saw flaming fist. Where? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. No snapping off heads. Ends nothing but a pile of ash by now. Hmm. Glorious. 
Okay. Were there any survivors? Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. Do you happen to know the way to Moonrise? You ain't know the broken road? Meh. <laughs> I'll tell you real slow like, so you don't miss it. No. <laughs> 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 what a way of words. Yeah. <laughs> Eloquent. Tribe? Oh. Not tribe. Tribe. Oh. Okay. Why <sighs> not? It's a priestess gut. So is it north we go? I guess so. Do you want to explore the encampment or just head north? Uh, we can, we can explore the encampment if you want. All right. There's some Let's things that we can welcomed. search. Oh, we Whoa. are not welcome. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what happened. <laughs> I walked towards their encampment. <laughs> uh, and the drow? Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> Are you fighting over there? I uh, I am. Oh no. These yeah, I'm I'm next to this little drinking party here. I don't want them to fight me. Oh, they're not part. They're not part of that battle. Okay, never mind. Oh. Well, don't forget that you can knock down the support of the platform you're currently standing on if you need. To stop the warg. I'm gonna use it as the high ground. Nice. Uh -oh. There, oh, maybe no. not. Maybe I'll just jump off. <laughs> Everything's dashing to get up there. Oh. All right. Um. Let me get up on this platform, I guess. What bonus actions do I have? Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna disengage and walk off of this platform, so we can then. Bust it down. Busting it down. We How have charm we person. Down? Where's the uh right behind the ladder you can shoot the wooden support. Ooh, I don't have enough movement for that. He's ranged. Oh nice. Our party deals a lot of damage really fast. I'm still like Kind of blown away by that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah! But that worked. Um, bonus actions. Do I not? He doesn't have an offhand, that's why. Yeah, he's using okay. the flourish type. Might as well kill instead of. What did he say? I didn't even hear. You idiot! Uh huh. Oh, you don't have your spider! Uh, no, it got burned. Critical miss, critical no. miss. You are so lucky right now. What just happened? Oh, Four misses in a row! I am untouchable. Apparently. 
plus one. Piercing, shape shift, burning hands. Can't do it here. Another ranged attack. Who is weakened? Uh, uh, apparently not that one. This one. Let's okay. go. One turn. Run up here. Magic missile. Nice, nice. Shabam. Wow. <laughs> okay, we got three rangers to deal with now. Uh oh. Uh, heal a starion when you get a chance. He's going for the alarm. Very well. Hmm. We can't let him. Can I shoot him from here? Oh, it won't kill him. The one on top? Got it. The one all the way out there. Not enough movement. Can I get any further? No. I'm going to have to target one of the others then. Uh, let's see if I can one shot one of these. Nope. Do I have any throwables? Um, no, I just got a bunch of poisons. Okay, end turn. Oh, Star Inch can still move. 65. Um, 65. Yeah, do that. Pop. Uh, did you get him? I did. Nice! Sniped him. Holy cow. Now it's just. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Uh, She's still not playing it. She Maybe. is. She is. Uh, That's the drums. It's not playing it on my screen. She just uh, stood next to it. Yep, that oh, added three, three more. more. The Warlock Tud. That's the people that were drinking behind us are in the fight now. Wow. Yep. All right, I'm gonna run closer. We're gonna have to like have. We're gonna need to take on the ones that are right in front of us first, and then turn around and get the others. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Okay. Uh, well, jump, dip, shove, jump. Good. And turn. A warlock? We're taking on that warlock first. One health left. If you can get him. No, I don't have enough range. Dang it. Can use... Dash, but I don't have a bonus action that can kill. Okay. Just do that, and then we're good. Yeah, just start healing people. <laughs> Where is Gale? Gale. Oh no, I have to be next to you if I want to use it. Okay. Ah! One health, but now has advantage on armor rolls. Sylved succeeded a hiding check. Oh, right! If you sneak during these interactions, you're going to gain additional experiences as a thief. Uh, I lost the hiding condition, Sedge. I wanted to see if I could sneak attack one of them. Right. Time to skulk about. Can't slow down. Uh, Did you just take one out? Nice. Yep. Someone's hiding behind the tree. Wow. 
How much damage? Five. This one's at 14. We're going to take on that other one first then. 45. 65. Five health. Two strikes to one. One strike to this one. Nice thing about Magic Missile. You can multi-target. <laughs> Hell yeah. And this guy ain't got no range. Oh, he ah! does. I lied. Yeah, he's a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come here, Buckaroo. You're getting fucking ice knife. Really? Hey, I knocked him down. Are you kidding me? Nice. So many bodies. Crude mace. Scroll of speak with dead. I wonder if we can use speak with dead on these guys. I don't know. My happened? wolf wasn't in the fight. Where were you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Can I take the drum? No. <laughs> what if I could just summon goblins by beating a drum at random? <laughs> just keep okay. calling them over and over again. I'm gonna hit a short rest before we like step on something and die. Okay. And also save. Mm-hmm. <sighs> ah. Jagged rock. Oh, we could have climbed up here and got advantage on height. This would have been a better... Oh, we can climb down as well. Hold on. There may be something over here. Okay, okay. Let's see. Gonna have to look around. Yeah, it's considered a chasm. What about over this way? Oh, no. Alright, I guess that's... Huh. What about over here, then? I'm going to start alt-scanning stuff as we walk around. Wait, you can't jump across that? It didn't give me the option. I can jump. How? Oh. Well, I'll, bet. I'll head over there. There's still, like, a lot of... There's chests and stuff over here. Yeah, we should probably do that, because I just heard another goblin. <laughs> yeah, loot everything that would normally be considered stealing because there's nobody to see us doing it now. <laughs> Young. Grimy now. chest. Bottle. I, yeah, I grabbed all the stuff from over there. These glass cups are actually worth... Because glass is worth a lot in the medieval period. Oh... Uh. Oh no! Okay, that was, that, uh, <laughs> uh, I shot the fire wine barrel. Apparently, uh, there's fire wine barrels, so you can light some stuff on fire. Hi, Dan. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Little people, wow. Uh, okay, I think that's everything for this area. I kind of want to. No trap disarm kit available. I want to steal the traps, because dang, those do a lot of damage. Sadly, we cannot steal them, but I can disarm them. Uh, I'd say don't bother, unless like we need to get through something normally. Yeah, it just um, breaks them. Yeah. Oh. Little bit of a whoopsie, and we killed a bunch of goblins. Found a bunch of alcohol. Mm. Oh, okay. Storyline. Oh. 
I was just grabbing a beehive, man. Voices irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale twink woman <laughs> with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. Huh. Do we want to chase power? Or more accurately, are you willing to follow me in my attempt to chase power? Wait, Blackheart, what do you... Huh? Shadowheart be using the 20-sided dice. Wait, what? What? Yeah, she is not one of our friends, so I don't know why the fuck she's here. We kicked her out of our party twice. Why is she here? <laughs> Still trying to save us. I mean, seems like an actually good-hearted cleric. I imagine you must have questions. We should but she's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in D&D is racist! It's unfortunately written into the story, and, like, I... I love challenging it inherently in all of my characters, but, yeah, everyone's racist. The, the humans mm. hate everyone. The dwarves hate anyone that isn't a dwarf. The elves hate anyone that isn't myrrh. Like... <laughs> you better start making a lot more sense very rapidly. <laughs> oh, it's me choosing the dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. You better start making some fucking sense. It's because of what was done to us. The infection. I don't know how... Her fucking schizo is protecting me from whoever controls our parasites. You won't get much farther without it shielding you. Trust me. You need me at your side. <laughs> what I'll take you my me? chances without you. No. Sounds like it's the artifact I need, not you. I'll kill to protect it. Already have. She's a killer queen down the line with a laser beam. Give it to you to blow your mind. Do we want Shadowheart with us? Can we fix her? Can we fix her? Can therapy and rehabilitation convert her into the furry that she was meant to be? I can fix her, I swear. <laughs> Fine, but where do I fit into this? Oh, so it's just you they want, not me. You just glow in such an unearthly way. It's awesome. <laughs> Fine, you can come with me. <laughs> Looks like you're out of luck, then. <laughs> Do I choose that option? I, I, that's up to you. Do you want to roll a d10? <laughs> roll a d10? Yeah, do you have polyhedrals of your own? I do not. Do you want me to pull up a dice app for you? Because that's also... Donjon.sh has a free dice app that you can just click on the screen. It'll, it'll roll a dice. Sure. All right, one sec. 
<laughs> if we're if we're doing this like the real D and D way, and you're unsure of how you want to proceed, but you want to roll with what your character's traits and specifics are, we then roll a D10 to see what angle she's uh, proceeding from, positive or negative, and how powerfully. So, uh, on dime die roller. Uh, one sec. Now that is no longer useful. There are probably better apps than this. Yep. All right. BrockJones.com slash die roller slash dice.htm. I'll go ahead and toss this into gaming, but I will. At the top here, if you just click D10, it'll roll it. Uh, if you want me to roll for you, I can do so. Yeah. All right, but you got a four, so middle of the road leaning towards a negative um, in this case. And then as far as seven, you're feeling snarky. <laughs> Looks like you're out of luck then. No. Either we join forces or you don't go anywhere. Tell me where to find your cat. Oh, damn. Okay, bitch. Damn. I mean, I'm glad that Fucking she actually asshole. stood her ground about that, though. Like, she's stuck between a rock and a hard place and is sticking to her character. That was impressive. That's good story she has, writing. She has 10 health and she's level 1. We could have knocked the fucking teeth out of that bitch. We could have. We have been murder hoboing so bad to start. Like, we're not supposed to be level 3, almost 4 already. This is ridiculous. Could have knocked the fucking socks off, though. We're both lucky, in fact. Okay. Uh, no, uh, she's restarting the whole thing with me. That voice you just felt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you going through this again? Uh huh. Why do you have this to begin with? That thing where she's always avoiding answering my questions. And it's not... Like, with you, she just gets angry. With me, she <laughs> avoids in a very specific way. It's really interesting to note the difference. You seem with yeah. Go go to my camp. Bye. Why were you still... You're going back into the Goblin Fortress. You are a fool. <laughs> the party gained 30 experience. Daughter of Darkness. To press ahead. Oh, I see the beehive you're looking at. Yeah, I went to go loot the beehive and it was just like... Something um, screaming? No. Whoa, what is happening across the way here? It's minus one HP. <laughs> huh. What's minus one HP? If I jump across. Oh. Uh, Steal some rope. There's a skeleton here. What else we got? You know, I don't know about walking down the main gates. Yeah, I've been kind of questioning that. <laughs> I mean, there isn't anybody here, and... Oh, it doesn't show an option to talk to these people, though. Hmm. It just shows... Is there another way in? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's that, a ladder over there. That jump and ladder is probably like our best bet. We could camp down there technically. Like it would be an RP camping situation. Do you yeah, want to try? The, there's even goblins over there. Yeah, it'll lock us into this conflict. Like our only way out will be through combat at that point. I'm a little jumper. Okay. See you soon. Yeah! Oh, my legs! God. Minus one, minus two, minus one, prone, prone, not enough space. Nope, that's one. <laughs> come on, Gale, come on, Lo Lobo? What's you have to make them name? jump yourself. Uh, lupus. 
No, 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 don't start running up bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough space. Mm, Gale. Aw, oh, sad dog noises. Sad dog noise. Do I, do I go up and assassinate him? Uh, maybe? I'm still looking around down here. We can get under this place. I just found uh -huh. some stuff. I'm going up to assassinate him. Okay. I'm uh, making a bad choice and... Oh, I found like a shrine back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It killed him. And then... A little kids that were here ran off, so I'm running back down. Okay. There's a tripwire over here. Hmm. Oh, there's a whole place over here, huh? The scrap of paper smells like ward pee. Most of the words are struck through. Lovely Minthar, I ain't never been to the Underdark. Gricka says there's beasties down there that make an ogre look like a baby gnome. But I says if anything as lovely as you grows among all the tasty mushrooms down there, it's the best place there ever was. In larger text, the writer has scribbled across his own work. Do drow like being compared to mushrooms? Probably. Oh, it's a goblin that's in love with a drow? That's cute. <laughs> Watch out for the tripwire. Chest is locked. Scrawled notes. Scrap of paper containing what appears to be ideas for a love letter. Can't compare her to the moon or the stars or any of that rubbish because she lives underground. She ain't got any scabs or boils, so can't compliment the best ones. Might think I'm too small. Tell her I'll buy a footstool for when we're kissing. Put some dead spiders in my hair next time I see her. Probably just send her some bits of people what I killed. How did I roll a nine twice in a row when I have a plus fucking seven? <laughs> Ring this game. A great axe. We don't have anybody who can use a great axe, do we? No, uh, Le Sparks. Lizelle. We should actually, like, equip our other party members with better stuff as we do camp things. I just don't know how to do that. True. Okay, Parchment. Is there... A childish doodle of a goblin presenting a fungal bouquet to a drow adorns this Aww. crumpled letter. Dearest your excellency and most prettiest Minthara, Aww. you might not remember me. I ain't nobody important after all. Not yet. I was chasing chickens with the lads when you came to visit Boss Ragslin. You looked right at me when you told him that if we was as good at killing humans as we was at plucking poultry, we might be worth a damn. Made me feel proper special to be recognized like that. Next raid, I'll spill so much blood the absolute will have to notice me. Then I'll come to Moonrise and you'll notice me too. I'm the <laughs> one with the stumpy leg and the gammy eye. Clagger. Okay. Oh, wow, <laughs> there is... We missed a lot of map. There is so much to look at here. Also, Lupus is, like, not following me, and I don't know why. Uh, he hates you. Examine. No. Uh, toggle group mode. Maybe it's just the fact that the spot's too small for Lupus to safely come up here? I have to keep going. I don't know if you zoomed in enough, but there was a little uh, soap and sponge next to a water bucket right here at the river. <laughs> Lupus used jump. Why did Lupus use jump? What is Lupus yeah, jumping like... on? Oh, wow. You can actually take up. the soap and the sponge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got the soap, we got the suds. 
<laughs> I had to. <laughs> Where's the toaster? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the bath is over there too. <laughs> All right, All right. So you killed a goblin. Uh, should we I save? Should we? Should we short rest? Uh, I'm not. That's up to you. I'm gonna save. Remember, also, both you and Gale have to be hiding. Yeah, and maybe also go. the wolf. Um, lightly obscured. Okay. Can my wolf get up here? Um, too high. Can my wolf use the ladder? <laughs> no way. The wolf just used the ladder. <laughs> Wooden chest wolf hidden over there. Climb up. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. It only had gold in it. Oh, oh, somebody's coming this way. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, -oh. erm, uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. erm. They were uh, saying get away. Bao Eknuk. Oh. I'll go talk to him. He's slightly I drunk. Paid to talk. Keep walking. Oh. Okay. Do we walk in? I mean, we can sneak up top and try and shoot everybody again, but like... Oh, there's a town portal here, too. <laughs> Maybe we can just walk in. I'm going. Alright. Oh, waypoint discovered. Nice. Hmm. Okay. That was my soul good, man. <laughs> oh, pull out the bard guy. He's just he can do anything. Oh no. Where's the bard? There's there's a bard over here. Where did you go? Oh, you're over here. Yeah. Volo, producer of associate stories and curios. Oh, jeez. Oh, this guy got taken. <laughs> Should we give him attention? Be a polite ranger. That's it's your character. You go. Mm, mm, you were right. D ten. Six. Indifference. One really doesn't care. Okay. Fragulous glide. I don't know this language. Come on, you turnip. Huh. What's that? No. If you'll excuse me. Draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin, um, 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 Ragslin, um, 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 draw Ragslin, um, you broke him. Wait, Oops. wait, draw you broke him. We pay, we... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Rescue Volo. Oh no. Alright, Gribbo, what are you gonna do? Oh, jeez. Oh! Gribbo, what the hell? Just fucking pushing the fuck out of him. You, what do you we'll got go. for me? 
Looking to spend it. Oh, he, he's going inside the big building. Okay, there is a... Let's see what you got. There's an ogre? Increased jump distance by 1.5 meters. Grilled pork belly. Hide armor plus two. What, what, what are you... Where do you... Huh? I'm trading. I'm, oh. I'm trading. He's got some dyes as well. Yeah. He just um, stands there. <laughs> I guess I can sell a bunch of stuff, huh? Uh, Character select. Do you think we need our gems, like the bloodstone, jades, and agates? Uh, they are spell components for certain high-level spells, but unless you like specifically know what you're looking for, like keeping a diamond is useful. Uh, diamonds are like crushed diamond powder is a common spell component for high level spells but like our our magic user is only level three and that stuff won't be pertinent until he's like level 15 or so so like yeah feel free to sell gems okay i'm doing a little bit of trading this is funny because like bit and pops. He won't talk to me while you're trading. He'll let me stand here and wait, though. He's just like, uh. hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and then I'll do that. And barter. All right. I'll let you look at his wares. Okay. You go back over there. They're all complaining about my wool. They do <laughs> not like my wool. Mm-hmm. Let me see what you got. Wait, when did I pick up the speedy light feet? Did you just buy that? No, I didn't. That, that's been on you. Oh, jeez. I was supposed to equip this a while ago. Oops. Oops. Wait, I have underwear? <laughs> Why is that a... Is there magic? Oh, oh, oh! Hmm. You can pull out your cock. No, it's not that. Well, I mean, yeah. But uh, there's an artifact I need to get. You know how I have the, the mask of, of body type change to make me whatever race? Hmm. There's a girdle of masculinity slash femininity that allows you to switch anywhere on the gender spectrum. Like, it's written as Mask and Femme in uh, second edition, but, like, it's a thing that exists and has been updated since then. It's really fun, and it would be cool to have access to that item if we find it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. What, I sold what... all the extra, like, terrible weapons that I had. Yeah, I'm about to do the got same. got me 170 gold from him. He still has 470, so, like, this is... Rotten cheese, rotten mushrooms, five shovels. I'll keep one. <laughs> Torches, makeshift spear, actual spear, goblin bones, hand axe, great axe, great sword, battle axe, crude mace, dagger, pickaxe. They don't stack like shovels. And have their own weapon proficiencies. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, we got all these rings too that, like, they could be something nice, but they won't be anytime soon. I'm just gonna get rid of them. Tin plate, tongs. Sponge is worth one gold. Mug, mug, mug. We have to keep the soap. <laughs> Should I keep the sponge? Uh, no, the sponge can go. Okay, there's the soap bar. I got a smoking pipe that's absolutely staying in my inventory. I got a spatula. <laughs> a hammer. Ooh, what's that? Oh, pot lid. I'm, I'm a little bummed out that the pot lid cannot be equipped as a shield. <laughs> like maybe that. for dwarves and oh no. it might be a size class thing you're right I no it, it's probably not but <laughs> it'd be funny but i mean like as a dm i totally would 
rule in that direction and manner. So yeah, that's worth 206 gold. Nice. Cleaver. If you Morning click Star, the um, little thing above barter, it'll put all of the gold that well, it would cost. Well, recent offers. No. <laughs> I'll do it in a No, in no, a no, no. Uh, no, it'll above undo. barter at the bottom. I... At the bottom. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So now you can click barter and then you could do specific gold amounts. And I have to go over or under. Started all that stuff that you're looking here. at at the bottom is all the stuff that I sold. Okay. Wow. Well, our party is a lot richer now. Oh, wow. Those yeah, we have quite a bit. We have a large sum of gold. A glass goblet. Bloodstone. I'm holding on to that for ceremonial purposes because a couple of things that we've run across required bloodstones as a key. Mm. Toss the seven bottles. There's a bunch of rope. And I don't know how to use it. I'm not entirely sure it can be used. I'm going to have to actually look into that. Barter. Cool. All right, fine. All right, I actually do want to see what I want to buy from that guy, though. Okay. Yeah. Where do you go? Grant the trader. Let me see what you have. Warrior, a brawler. Gain one bonus on dexterity saving throws and gain one. Cola says a game. Bonus to initiative rolls. Well, I don't have medium armor proficiency though. That's bad. I'm gonna wait to do this interaction because uh, apparently we're about to do a game of chance with one of the goblins. This will be fun. <laughs> when the wearer heals a target, it gains an additional temporary three hit points. Ooh. Oh hell yes! You gain proficiency with longbows and shortbows. In addition, your ranged weapons attack deal an additional two damage. Whoa, that's plus two, plus two. That's really good. What, that's what? on a pair of gloves. Yo, if you put those on um, uh, b -b 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 Gale, he'll actually be able to use uh, his bow when spellcasting isn't viable. It'll let him conserve mm -hmm. spell slots. Oh, God. I have a, those. I have a personal proficiency in longbows on my character. So having a short bow proficiency on a character that normally can't use bows, that's that's huge. Do you want this longbow plus one? It does five to twelve damage. Ooh, um I don't know what my bow is. I can trade uh, with this person here? Huh. I didn't know that. But, uh, y I mean, more longbows we'll for everybody is good. Because longbows deal really good damage, but um, they are slower to strike. They'll take slightly more of your action points per turn. But it's going to be like a matter of plus 10 or 20% at most. Mm -hmm. On the average, none of our characters are going to get multiple strikes per turn for a long time. Like, we need to be more than double our current experience rate before the um, ranger will get an additional half an attack per round. Mm-hmm. All right. I have bartered. Okay. I'm in a conversation here if you want to join. All right. Um, so, what is it going on? I love the way that my ranger has been just like smiling at every goblin that she sees. Like, <laughs> she seems legitimately entertained by their presence in a way that I can't understand. All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This. This is chicken chasing. Chicken chasing. Chicken chase. What? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. Since eggs Just sprouted legs? Chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. 
any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy. Well, that is you not a color I wanted it to be. Breasted by the bird. <laughs> I guess we'll go with that one then. Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Whoa, you can sell to random people. She's got 300 gold in her pocket. Maybe they'll buy it for less, though. Hmm. I mean, other people that aren't normally traders are going to have a lower bartering skill in general. If you have mercantilism, like, my character actually has mercantilism oh, as her as her starting job before she became a ranger. She's from a merchant's guild family. And, uh... Mm. Wow, I didn't realize how much I'd backstoried this character without even thinking about it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, so I, I actually get a plus one to, like, bartering and haggling on my own anyways. I am really upset with how they used the die in this game. What do you mean? Uh, I dyed all of my armor blue, and it came out blue and yellow. Oh no. And so I was just like, that is a terrible color combination. And so I was just like, alright, I'll do the red. And now I am brown and pretty much all brown. <laughs> the only thing that's red is my sleeves and my pants. Where's the chicken and where am I? How do I? There's a chicken running around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to start this. Start oh, what? there's a starting mark. Okay. Okay. What are you trying to me for? What are you waiting for? Shimmy on the starting mark. The sheevil chicken squawk. Eyes darting around at the leering goblin faces. I'm gonna use uh, animal terrible. communication on the chicken. <laughs> Leave. Uh, speak with animals. Oh, but don't want to burn. <sighs> I don't want the chicken to die, but it's going to be food no matter what. Persuade the chicken to attack them. Got an A. You needed a 20. What the fuck? No. Too many goblins. Too many dead before me. <laughs> What's wrong? I can repeatedly persuade. Okay, I'm not. You're not no, gonna play the game. No, I'm not gonna play the game. I I, I want to play the game. Okay, you play the game then. Can I? I don't know. Try talking to her. Go oh, talk to the chicken. The crawler. Okay, that's fine. It's thirty gold to start, so just talk to her again. Slightly drunk. It's not letting me do it. Oh, is this the starting mark? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Catch the cock! You'll be free just as soon as you run through the post. Go, go. I'll just walk behind you. You're free. You're fine. Okay. I hope you do. 
Good luck. Catch that cock! Seems like you know your way around the course. What a game. Hand over my winning. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. <laughs> it says so in the rules. Ah, my legs are too long. Glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Ooh. Okay, so one of the things that I've been really enjoying in the role playing of this character is that she legitimately seems to enjoy the illicit power and wants to gain it without actually becoming a cephalopod. So I love mm -hmm. the idea of her practicing her skills and eventually, hopefully, being able to overcome like whatever's possessing her and still be able to utilize that same set of powers. Mm -hmm. Difficulty class two. You'll be returning my coin, and all of yours. You're a, you're a true... Wait, you actually couldn't have failed that because you had a plus two to charisma. <laughs> Unless you crit failed. It's taking something you'll never get back. Just, just a bit of fun. No disrespect, man. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The power within me grows. <laughs> and we just gained how much gold? Uh, good question. I don't know. 300 gold. Holy. Um, by the way, I can't equip stuff to, um, Gale. Oh, strange. Because you control him. I can only put stuff in his inventory. Okay. Let me... We got a very heavy great axe. Gloves of archery. Currently has no gloves on at all. Wow. There you go, bud. Very heavy great axe. A plus one. Mm, it's really very heavy. And then a great axe plus one. A small prayer decorates the hilt of the axe. It resonates in your hand when in your head when you touch it. Oh. All right. Dexterity. Saving throws plus one, but can no longer cast spells, so no leather helmet for you. In fact, the gloves are not considered. Or along with guiding hand. Oh, that's so cool. With long bows and short bows. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was long bows as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need to put. Better armor of some sort on Gale, because he's, he's pretty barren. Oh, you, you start the conversation. Stuff. Oh, okay. I'm doing the trading again. Yeah. Because there were boots that increased jump distance, but we don't really need boots. And the jump distance isn't really too much of a concern. I mean, and you can definitely use it as a thief to, like, get behind lines and do some stuff. It's just it means splitting yeah. the party. Like, there's very situational things that we can use to our advantage that way, though. Mm -hmm. Um, hide armor with a plus two. Um, it's a medium armor, so I can't wear it. What Rogues it? can't wear it. It's a plus two what? Uh, it has... Gain a plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and checks, and then gain a plus one bonus to initiative rolls. What's the armor, though? Uh, 14 armor class. No. <laughs> what kind of armor is it? Medium. I'm wearing a chain shirt plus one. Is it a leather shirt plus three? It's a hide armor plus two. Hide armor. Okay, see, that's what I'm at. <laughs> the pluses matter there because it means that it's uh, it, it's useful in more than just the prime material plane. That means it remains a plus one if we go to say the underdark. Mm. 
Everything that we have right now that's a plus one drops down to just plain iron the second that we go anywhere that isn't the prime material. If we go to a dreamscape or something. So, like, plus twos are very, very valuable in that manner. And plus threes. A plus three or plus four is, like, getting into the realm of either, like, ancient artifacts or Id items of the gods. Mm. You said there was a plus two bow? A uh, plus one longbow. It's five to twelve damage. I'm using an ordinary longbow right now, so that would be awesome. Alrighty. Let's see. What's the... Is it tab for everybody's money? Yeah, okay. Go down to wherever you are at. Give 107. Here, let me give you my gold. Here's the longbow. Nice. Oh my god, you have timber in your inventory. Timber? You're holding on to a dead squirrel. Oh. I didn't Speak realize with the that. Dead. <laughs> oh, we should. We should. Can you? It's, in, the, <laughs> it's yeah. in your inventory. Do I have? Do I have the amulet of lost you're voices? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're still wearing it. Okay. Where do I? How do I speak with that? Okay, I have to put it on the ground. <laughs> uh, I need to find a good resting place for the squirrel. Do 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 do. Out here. This seems scenic enough. Uh, with that. Cannot target beasts. Well, no. Wait, what if you use speak with animals, then speak with them? Speak with animals. On self. Take all. You good dead. Cannot target beast. No. If we can find a scroll of resurrect later, that's why I kept her. Because that's that is a druid soul trapped inside that squirrel, and if we, if she gets a high enough constitution roll, she'll save against uh, immolation. Hmm. Also, this is all information that is way outside of character, but it's still things that like. She's being driven by by somebody with unearthly knowledge, so, you know. <laughs> Wait, how do you know that it's a druid inside of that squirrel? Because she was... named. Hmm. Otherwise, it would just be squirrel. Okay. We can also uh, teleport from here, which is really handy. Yeah. Because we can go to the actual town and trade for higher level stuff. I don't even think there was higher level stuff at that place. It was kind of dookie. Mm. Okay. Well, I wonder what's up Do here. we want to go rescue the guy? Uh, We'll upset every goblin here if we do. I recommend we do a long rest if we decide to go that route. Right now I'm looking up. I just found random stuff that's probably... Yeah, I just found some paintings. You yonking some paintings. A lavish chair? It sounds fun to me. Survival failed. Everybody failed their survival checks. Don't know what we found, but... That's one of the dig up chests. Uh, I have out-of-character information about how to resolve that as well, but I'm not going to say <laughs> it. 
bring the people from the camp here. That is one way to do that, yes. Alternatively, uh, other things. <laughs> no, how do we no. get how do we get over here? This is what I want to Is my ranger just going on her own? Oh, she is. Okay, cool. I'm glad she knows how to get there because I don't. Oh, there's vines. Okay. Dragon egg. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't pick that. Apparently, that's somebody's property. <laughs> Joblin, scimitar, crude mace. Wow, there's a bunch of, like, stealables. Wooden trunk. Some torches. This dragon egg mushroom is okay, though. It's not somebody's property. Like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Huh. Unconscious, you say? To light them on fire. Without even attacking anybody, we can blow up the barrel. Would that be considered a crime here? Most likely. Autumn Crocus. Wait, they're asleep. You can still do it again. Also, there's a cracked wall here. Alright, I'm gonna save real quick. It seems like we just found a nice little adventure to get into. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'll let you do the stealing, and I'm going to wander around out here and see what else I can loot. I keep finding holes in the ground that have my interest. Mm -hmm. This urn cannot be added to inventory. Also, I think this is the back route. Oh, this is the back route. Is that a chest? That is a big chest. Ain't got nothing to pickpocket, man. I'm freaking upset. It's all like two gold, three gold, a spear. Ain't got nothing. What's up for discussion? Booyag Piddle. What? It says here that goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What oh, wow. Oh, your dog's not over here again. Should I? Oh, no. Gail's, like, smiling at this guy. <laughs> uh, should I lie? Hmm. I don't know how this guy's going to take this. And I get the feeling that if I, like... If this is from the guy's notes, that bard... This is going to get him killed if we'd say that what it actually is. Well, I did just save. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say it's a compliment. Bit confusing... Because it says we're feeble-minded weaklings right before that. True. Still, only other stuff to read round here is the filth clagger scrolls in the latrines. Trade. On goblins, my life among the conquering host. A loosely bound collection of papers containing rough sketches of a goblin priestess with accompanying text. Scroll of Grease, Scroll of Mage Armor, Scroll of Magic Missile, Scroll of Witch Bolt, and a stuffed bear. This bear, off torn and repaired, seems of one good squeeze away from crumbling into moldered stuffing and threadbare patchwork. Aww. Well, that's interesting. I kind of want to get this book. You're just mid conversation with them. You're just like, hey, you got anything to sell? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, he's holding a book, and there's a pile of books next to him. I'm like, do you want to sell any of those books to me? <laughs> I'll sell you back a bow from one of your kindred. There you go, bud. Bought her. Where did you find that? Belong to some bloke who showed up here asking questions. 
bold as a bugbear he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or something. <laughs> Think they've locked him in the cells already. Okay, so did that guy. Interesting bloke. Uh... May I see his manuscript? I ain't finished with it. There's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh. Scan his mind. Oh, zero. Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Oh, I, I'm. Hmm. Maybe we should just load. <laughs> this is a party wipe. It says <laughs> temporarily hostile. Maybe if we just go inside. Oh, how do we? Holy fuck, that's a lot of turns. I don't think... You can't flee combat and go to camp. You can flee combat and go to camp if you are far enough from your enemies. You need to be oh, 27 Trump, meters guys, away. We'll yeah, we're just gonna load. I'm sorry. I screwed You're that good. up. Wow. Wow. Yeah, uh, so that's an interesting thing. I need to make certain I do rests in between using my illicit power. Um, hmm. Also, it seems like I'm feeding the parasite in my head by doing it. Sounds like fun, at least. <laughs> Why did it go completely silent to load this? <laughs> Normally it plays background music. Over the garden rock. <laughs> okay. So you were robbing drunk people, and I was starting a conversation. But I am going to go through the rest of the conversation that way without trying to yeah, break into his head. Still, Trade. That. Bop, 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 bop. 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 Okay. Where'd you find that? Ride a good chin wag with him, though. Interesting bloke. Glows, but you feel nothing in response. Okay. Cool. I won't go any further with that. And we'll save it. So I don't do that again. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, my head. There are a lot of this Aloso Dusk. Ooh, antidote, potion of greater healing. Greater healing, wait a second. Can I climb up here? I can. Why can't I disguise self as a goblin? Game. Oh, what I need to do heck? that. Oh, wait, yeah, it's not one of the same size classes. No, but I can disguise myself as a gnome. Oh, that's weird. 
It's just goblin isn't one of the races I can do. Found a longbow and most of a pig. <laughs> most of a pig. Yeah, I got a, a pork loin, pork head, and pork loin. Uh, hey, Lobo, where are you, bud? Why are you down here? Does this dog need to use these vines? Dog can't use vines. Can dog get up elseways? I think I just need to resummon. Yeah. Ranger's companion, wolf, pop. There you go, bud. Sorry about that. Also, uh, down down the side of this, there's a, another chest we can get to. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> you good down there. Holy cow. Um, thank you. Also, this chest is locked and there's poisonous gas. <laughs> oh, thank you. Dang, that did a lot. It does the same as a long rest. Or no, oh, wow. never mind, it's a short rest. Okay. And the thing that's listed as collapsed burrow? Nothing in it. Not over, then through. This is all listed as chasm. Anything tasty? Ooh! Nice. A shield. Once short per run. short rest, oh. if you are below 50% hit points and take damage, you gain 8 temporary hit points. Wait, what? It is a glowing shield. Who is the Ooh. shield used for? That would be me. And Gale, actually. <laughs> You and Gale. Well, we should it give... is in your inventory. I'm going to give Gale a spear instead of a staff, because the staff isn't actually doing anything for his spellcasting. And okay. as a human, he actually gains a proficiency to spears. Mm. Nature stare, snare, uncommon. Is this a staff? He has a magic staff. I didn't know that. Flytrap. Chance to ensnare target if it's not a plant or a beast. Main hand only. Topple. Uncommon staff. That's so cool. Alright, that's way better. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave you a longbow that I found in a chest. I'll put on this Is it just a regular shield. longbow? It's just a regular, but you're using a short bow right now. Oh, no, I gave it to a starring. Because the starring is using a short bow. Um... Whoa, I'm glowing now. Because of the shield. No, Does I that... gave you bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. If you were below half health and take damage in temporary... That's so cool. Uh, Spike shield. I guess studded shield will be for Gale... Give a spike shield to Astarian because he likes blood. I forgot that I have paintings in my hand. They're worth 30 gold apiece. I'm so glad I snagged them. <laughs> okay. And at some point I need to like sit down and actually read all these books that I've been collecting. <clears throat> what a mess. There's a backpack against the tree. Autumn crocus. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I like that you have to actually look for them, that, like, alt scanning isn't enough. The backpack I did find with alt scanning, it had four trap disarm kits and four oh, lockpicks. Wow. That's super yeah. handy. And a health potion along with that, so that's good. So it okay. looks like this hole in the wall over here is going to be our main way into the place. The cracked wall? Yeah. Also, there's still more forest here. Is this... That's the... back to where we were. Okay, so this is the spot that I was like, maybe we can drop down. There's a hand axe over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That's all list of his cavern. Uh, right. Meet you folks back at the goblin camp. Okay. Save game. You save. Are you capable of assassinating all these goblins? All the ones up here? Yeah. Uh, uh, debatable. Okay. Hmm. It does 7 to 22 damage. I wouldn't be able to kill Tagoon or Stimp, but I'd be able to kill the other ones. I just realized there's more than... Oh. They, like, highlighted the alcohol... I guess the other thing would be to just light them all on fire. Alright. Mm. Cracked wall. I'm not gonna smack it. Wait, what? Um. Okay, so assassinating them is necessary. Loading game. <laughs> Why'd they wake up? Because I hit a wall with a big piece of metal, it's kind of loud. But they're drunk sleeping. I don't know about you, but plenty of drunk people sleeping last night were getting woken up by just random yelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Arrows can be useful in more than just a fight. Shoot a hinge to bring down a brazier. Or fired a lever that is just out of reach. I didn't realize you could shoot at levers in this. That's cool. I had a character in um, ED&D who was a gunslinger, which is a ranger subclass that we built that was actually technically a branch off of Steve Acrobat, a uh, prestige class that we balanced out. But mm -hmm. as um, a flavor thing, they decided to start trying to use a lasso as like a... The way that, like, Indiana Jones uses his whip. Mm-hmm. Okay, do we want to bother with the wall or just walk away until we're higher level? I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Uh, hold on. Too late. Okay. Damn. We're just leveling us all up, too. We're just watching this happen. <laughs> I wanna have everybody sneak. Do I kill these guys too? I'd say if you can. I mean, damn, that was effective. You can also loot them. They might have. Yeah, they do have stuff. Cool. No, I deal 22 damage to that guy. I, I definitely can't kill these two. Uh, I can try to do something like cast sleep on them. Uh, hold on, hold on. I have poisons. Yeah. Okay. Now we're thinking. I have poisons. Additional one to four damage. I have to. Wait. No. Even if I roll perfectly, I can't get that. Uh, quit your weapon and it receives a minus one penalty to the damage, but targets failing a constitution saving throw suffer disadvantage on strength checks and saves. You no. Know. <laughs> you just speak with dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he won't. General Satori, you've been locked in action as a result of another ability feature or condition. It will remain at the side of your hot bar until those conditions expire. Is that the Speak with Dead? Bardic roll. Recast Speak with Dead. Okay. Without expending a spell slot. Neat. <clears throat> so yeah, like, we can grease the ground and light them all on fire. Uh, Hold on. I got this. You got this? I was gonna say, I probably have minor poisons and stuff. Uh... Oil of accuracy. 
Coat your weapon no, with a plus two bonus for all oh, rolls. Down. Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. <laughs> oh, God! That's going to be so loud. It's going to alert everybody down below. Oh, God, we're going to war, aren't we? I wonder if we could just throw the snow powder barrel at the ogre downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me get out of here. Are you ready? Uh, I guess. Oh, erm. Um, uh. That's smoke powder on the ground. A fire will still set it off. So, let me know when you want Gale to shoot magic, this, or fire bolt. I got it. You got it? Alright. Maybe. Uh, it okay. didn't kill. No. Oh, the bugbear. That's why they aren't goblins. Okay. We have advantage. No, we don't have advantage anymore. What what changed? Got him. Okay, Gale. if you got him, then I can get the other one. All right. Then can. Maybe not. I mean, the fire damage should finish him. Okay. We're good. We're good. Battle's over. Ooh. And everybody downstairs is unaware. The giant guard with 99 health is completely unaware. We're so good. We're so good. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is insane. We just wow, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> that was so and cool. just like that, we walk right <laughs> by their defenses, baby. <laughs> we didn't walk. We wouldn't right happen by. to have another explosive, would ya? Yeah, yeah. We. I mean, we can we can still take out that wall with other means. Did you just cast gaping wounds on the wall? Immune to fire damage. Huh. Immune to cold damage. Interesting. Excellent. Let's see. It's got sturdy as well, so it can't just um, beat it down. Release a wave of thunderous force that pushes away all creatures and objects. 2 to 16 damage, but it's 22 which bolt magic Try it. missile. All right. Uh You got to do anything at this point. Nothing. No nothing. damage because of sturdy. Uh Sarah, You don't have any explosives? I do. I'm still trying to do it without using an item. Oh, okay. Uh great axe plus 1 on Sarah's Victoria. She's the highest strength in the party. Sarah's Victoria. Sarah's Akil. I can't believe I just called her Sarah's Victoria. Immune to slashing damage. Mage Hand? Not enough space? Yeah, Mage Hand is something that can Misty pick still. up stuff and throw it. Void. Caustic. Smoke Powder Satchel is 12 to 21 damage. So no matter what, it won't take down the wall. Crap. Then how do we... What's the point of the cracked wall then? Uh, do we have any maces? That's it. Anybody with blunt weapon? Yeah, you have a morning star on a starian. Let's see. Let me put that on Saris. <laughs> this has been entertaining to say the least. Uh, okay, I'm putting my rapier back in hand because she's a bonus to that. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that we at least managed to take care of a lot of this. Also, I'm absolutely going to go steal this pickup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe More we can me. bring that encumbered. Over there. Well, it's not explosive. It's it's oh. fire damage. Crap. Uh, I need to send things to. Oh, I just need to go sell to that goblin downstairs. 
In fact, I'm going to start picking up random things that are worth, like, not very much. <laughs> yes. Very well. Then these things have stayed interesting. I know. I suppose so. How do you trade with people? Uh, if you start a conversation, the bottom left has, like, different options to choose. So you can go to character oh. select and barter. I'm just, like, looking for more things to loot. I'm, I'm a loot goblin. 67 gold just on the ground? <clears throat> Yoink. Hello, little chicken. Please get out of here. <laughs> Let me know when you're done trading. Not even trading, I'm just talking to the guy. Oh, okay. He's got pants on. But it looks all you're getting. <laughs> For all I know. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. <laughs> Authority. Authority. You're wasting your time. Dwarven poetry is worthless. Oh, you have good persuasion rolls. I'm gonna add bardic inspiration to that. There no! we go. <laughs> really? Oh, fight! You might as well use it as bog roll then. I'll get back to tending the meat. Did you just get a book? I got a poem. Nice. I was like, buggy, I'll roll for the poem. What does this say? Oh. oh, can't trade with everyone. Just some people. A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A notice scrolled in the margins found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and a lunar phases are sketched beneath. Oh, hmm. hey, Stone. What's up? There's a very rare item in this guy's inventory. Are you saying I'm pickpocketing him for it? Well, he's the traitor, so I don't think he'll be oh. successful at that. But um, it's 163 gold, so I'm going to buy it. I might have to take the gold back from your inventory, but I also have stuff to sell. But uh, it's a pike of returning. It is a throwing pike that, when thrown, goes back to you. You can be mm -hmm. Xena with a freaking spear. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Cervesi shoes. War pick plus one. Great club plus one. But pike of returning. That is cool. I do want that. But, oh, you're proficient with pikes. Okay. Oh, as a ranger, I'm proficient with pikes? I thought I, I did, said that. I didn't know that. I thought that was a human proficiency. I mean, usually it says not proficient with this item when, it, when you hover over it. Hmm. Whoa! Holy water, it's an anti undead grenade. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happens if I try to give you gold while you're trading. 
Oh, thank you. That I needed work? that. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh. Mark. Oh, you can click on the different characters from here and go through. That's handy. Mm hmm. Wait, how much is that fire wearing barrel worth? Two gold, but it's 40 pounds! <laughs> He's oh, also he has... carrying an opulent chest! <laughs> What's in it? Nothing. Uh... I have a large sum of scrolls that sell for 40 each. Some sell for more. Yeah, we'll have to decide on how we want to uh, parse out the scrolls for any of the spellcasters because you can learn spells from scrolls or you can use them as a one-time cast for anybody that's able to use them. Uh, barter. So, I got I these bracers and I don't think they're useful whatsoever but they sell for 160. Wait, what? Bracers of defense? Are you kidding no. me? No, the, <laughs> yeah, those. What do you mean? As you think long those as are... you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. When are we ever not going to be wearing armor? Uh, it's a situation where if you... There's certain um, equipment that doesn't get de-equipped when you're in non-combat situations. Or, like, say when you go to jail or something, they sometimes don't take off certain artifacts like that. But on like on the other side of things, if you're playing a monk, if you're playing a dragonborn, there's like a few different races where those are really, really useful. With our party makeup, I guess it wouldn't be, but that's that's also not the way that bracers of defense work in second edition. So it's that's an interesting way to balance them, I guess. Um a better representation of what the original bracers of defense are are the ones that Wonder Woman uses, where she like deflects bullets with them. Mm -hmm. That is wild. Okay, I need to open this chest in Gale's inventory. It has nothing in it. My mouse is locking up. Uh, also has a backpack full of random weapons plus the needle of the outlaw road that one's gonna go ah uh, sure whatever i'm gonna open this a box full of rocks okay uh where's that guy i'm gonna trade with him again glad you got stuff because i do have coin that medium armor helmet is nice, but I'm not going to be using it since I have the mask. And the mask of the shapeshifter is just really, really powerful as a situational thing. It's, you can't take the time to unequip or re-equip it, per se. Mm -hmm. A box full of rocks. I love all the, the new shiny equipment we have. That's awesome. <laughs> Do have a couple bit of shinies. Uh, this great axe plus one, it's so enchanted, it only weighs 3.1 pounds. <laughs> like, by comparison, oh, my rapier is only one pound. That's wild. Or it might be kilo. That returning pike. Oh, okay. Give me. Ah, oh, that takes up my shield slot, though. Well, you you throw it, and then oh, I know you have to use an action to re-equip your weapon. Mm -hmm. So that's, could you equip gonna... it to your ranged slot instead? Mm, good question. No. No. Let's see. Equip. Equip. 11. Equip. 
You know who doesn't make great use of uh, their melee equipment? Who doesn't make good use of their melee equipment? Gale. True. So Gale gets the uh, Repike of Returning. I'm going to put down this Firewine Barrel. Like It's really funny, but <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Okay, make certain shield path no carrying timber around still. I completely forgot. That's the other thing I feel bad about. Uh, sort by weight. Camp supply pack is 40. Open. What's this full of? Oh. All of the food that we've been picking up. So can I just send this to camp? Can't throw. I can send to camp though. I'm gonna do that. That's taking up half my inventory weight. Oh, I have your keychain. I was like, why do I have two keychains? I love doing like inventory maintenance and management, looking, going like, what the hell's happening here? What? When did this happen? <laughs> oh, did you just send your entire camp supply pack? Uh huh. All right, you're you're getting gales now then. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because all of the items that you would pick up that automatically get put into the camp supply pack would just mm -hmm. go into your inventory instead. Oh. So I'm just move Gale's camp supply pack into yours. Okay, I guess that works. Uh, all right. Volo, room of the waning crescent. Find the night song. Rescue Volo. Open the door. Rescue Volo. Those are the quests there. We have a portal to this goblin camp. There's a way west from where we were that I'm kind of curious about. The Blade of Frontiers is just north. But there's no easy way to get there. In fact, I'm still not entirely sure how. Huh. I'm going to speak to the big goblin guard. Okay. Oh, okay. Inside your head's boring, buckaroo. <laughs> Ain't got nothing going on in there. Can you go? Okay, these buildings are just full of trash. Cannot be added to inventory. Cannot throw. Too heavy. Keep that bird away from the merchandise? Okay, so there's no way to actually, like, access a lot of this building. It's just a wall. We've got the lateral zoomies. My apologies, everyone. <laughs> I am ready to... Wander out of here when you are. Okay. Where are we headed? Uh, I mean, like, the only other option is to wage war on everybody in this place, which I know that we can. We can absolutely lead them through, like, a funneled area and trap it up and leave grease and light that on fire. Like, we can do it. It's totally <laughs> doable. Our party of four is, at this point, capable of easily taking on 20 goblins, and that cracks me up. I just don't <laughs> necessarily want to. Okay. Um, there was other stuff nearby, and I want to see if we can get like any other equipment or even level up uh, before coming through here again, because we still have no armor for our spellcasters. He will crumble if we don't guard him, unfortunately. Yeah. Where's my wolf? Hey, dog. Doing wolf things. Yeah. Uh, also, hey, spider. Alright, so we were going to go north, was one of the things. 
We did go north. So what's west? Let's go find out. Oh, hey. Dirt. Delicious dirt. <laughs> Some stinky cheese. And an acid vial. Well, you know, we'll take the cheese to sell it. Oh, this is a area? Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. It will be bitterly difficult for a party of your level. Whoa. Huh. I guess we'll come okay. back to that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're are we uh. supposed to just go wage war on goblins? What's is the game hinting at that? What's out? Well there's still we go? like sows. The part below the village in the northern area. Yeah. I'll follow you. Okay. We'll go to the part below the village because that's a bit closer. Wah. Can I get down there? Oh, they decided to run around, I said. <laughs> I wanted to get a good uh, screenshot of them jumping, but no. <laughs> but no. The lady. The Z. Target too far. No. Ah, I failed. Oh well. Eventually, I'll figure out how to do this in a, a way that's not going to completely stop everything. <laughs> Where did you go? I have Just messed up. the bridge. Okay. I'm here. Oh, my God. Collapsed burrow. Collapsed burrow? Where? Uh, nothing. Ogie. I think it's uh, my ranger site is seeing places that rabbits live and is like looking for stuff in those holes. Hmm. That doesn't seem like a sturdy bridge. Uh weren't we just we were on the other side of this earlier. Okay. We were indeed on the other side of this. And then there's a path down. Okay. Why did the music just get haunting? It's very ominous. Wait, what? Where? Who? Down oh, there. Oh, there's people down there. Okay. Sneak. We got seven raspberries from Sneak. that bush. Sneak. Oh, we're sneaking? Oh, I started to. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what happened? I click on wolf and all sight go weird. Oh, I see. Those are just regular people down there. Damn it, wolf. Go up and pickpocket this guy. Nah, he ain't got nothing saying... but a hammer. My wolf is repeatedly saying it can't reach the destination, and it's like right there. Don't want to think about <laughs> why my eye is itching. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching? Oh, parasites, right. Rogue's morsel. Hiding successful. No, absolutely nothing, you aegis. Drop. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the apple, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Oh, Just let her Gail go. is the conversation starter. You huh. there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just Oh, it's Auntie Ethel. Stop this. We won't ask again. How it's about the you lady all who calm gave down. us soup? What's going on Careful. here? 
Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag. When did Ethel give us soup? Where was that? Back at the uh, town with all the teeth things. Oh. Enough. Or no, she didn't give us soup. She was the crazy potion lady. Oh. I won't let you hurt this woman. Be careful. He's with the hag. Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get him. What? I'm uh, not sure you want to do that, Buckaroo. Let's do non-lethal combat. We can do non-lethal combat? Yes, we can do non-lethal combat. So that's a thing? Uh-huh. I just have to find where the button is for it, because I found it last time too late. Uh, opportunity attack. Inventory, shielded, melee, ranged, light source, dual wielding. Where the heck... Uh, common, custom, passive, passives, toggle non-lethal. Uh, that did it for everyone. Okay, good. Yeah, we're just gonna slap everyone. Uh, don't use explosive magics, they will kill still. <laughs> so, will my knife kill this guy? Your knife, your spear, that's all fine. We're, we're going to be, uh, trying to deal damage but not kill and that's going to be handled by the in-game engine knocked out okay no he still has one health he's fine demir's next yeah mm. let's see here uh rush attack ranged attack hamstring shot i'm gonna give him a shove <laughs> Okay, and turn. These guys were not ready for this. <laughs> Can take their stuff. What happened? This sounded like a heated argument. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm in a conversation. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm watching now. Boys were looking for their little sister, Marina, the girl who's. Staying with me. This huh? is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please. Okay, that's strangely husband. manipulative, but Thank she is you. telling us to come back to her place so we can investigate I further. Hope. And she just fucking disappeared. That is a witch. Should we wake these guys up? Should we rob them? Oh, I already oh, did rob them. You just did? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was, that was already on it. This guy's got a pitchfork. I'm disarming him. I'm not robbing him. I'm disarming him. Examine. Humanoid. Uh, knocked out. Affected entity cannot take move or actions, bonus actions, or reactions. Will disappear permanently after a long rest. Okay. Oh, so we basically killed him. I don't think so. I think that it's the status disappears after a long rest, so it oh. forces you into one. There's also something over here. Siobhan Potato Carrot 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 Mugwort. So I got a letter off of him. He said, okay. it says, Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know huh. he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So not a word to ma'am. All right. She has had enough on her plate. May Rena. Huh. Loving note. Saving. Oh, runs up your spine. You oh no. Like you're being watched. You feel like you're being watched. Ranger and nature? Sylvette is trying to listen in. Okay. Uh, look for signs of unnatural activity. 15. Oof. Minus one with intelligence. Oi, oi. Customized dice. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. Nice. 
Did you know that we have dice that we can change the color of? I didn't. Oh, oh no! Yeah. So close. All right. Well, something's watching me, and I don't know why, and I feel weird. A quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. You can't see anything strange. She has a mild Scottish accent. I'm gonna read this note. Picks up one note. Uh, Ooh, five no. juicy apples. Read. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me, Auntie E. There's nothing in here besides a note. I ate the apples. Perception failed. Okay. Um. <laughs> Wicker basket. More juicy apples. They're worth a lot of money. Maybe we can feed them to goblins and see if it poisons them. <laughs> Bunch it's a of large perception. sum of sheep. It's a what large sum of sheep. What did I just find that she got a successful perception check on? Because I didn't. Are you okay? Uh, saving throw against open wound. Uh, bleeding. Two damage per turn. Take two slashing damage. Just. Disadvantage on Constitution. No, you're fine. We're fine. We're both done bleeding. Creature has recently cut itself. In six rounds, that will fade as well. Okay, there's definitely some bad stuff around here. Spike trap. That's what it is. And then I step in it. Alright, well. I'm gonna get out of the water now. Meowch. Barbed red brush. <gasps> My finger. Attack. <laughs> oh, I can talk to the sheep. Hey there. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's just a whole bunch of juicy bar. apples. It's trying to say ba. Animal handling. Drop your eyes and carefully reach out. Uh oh. Erm. Punch the sheep on accident. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. <laughs> what? You stupid little sheep. I'm gonna talk to this one. <laughs> and... Uh, that's amazing. What about over here? The waypoint discovered. Be wary. This place is trapped. More spike traps. Good to know. Found a boat. Some wine. Oh, you are way up here. <laughs> Save failed against gaping wound. Delightful. Dang, got uh, 23 turns of rotting. I got 23 turns of rotting. What the hell? Open wound is starting to rot. Disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws using charisma. We are now diseased. These swamps are evil. Swamps are bad. I don't even know what ability check. There's a half eaten apple over here. Oh, hey. There's a bunch of dead people over here. Blood. Oh. I don't like where this is going. Pork sausage. Traveler's guide to the Sword Coast, the Risen Road. Oh, 
I see a backpack. I've opened two of them. Ooh. We can jump across over here. dog is again. The dog be dogging. <laughs> oh my. A wood woad. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Okay. Er uh, these are level four things. We should Probably just leave. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. We got this. Um, okay. I I'm, also, in us. I'm also a ranger and I'm kind of compelled to not disturb druid sanctuaries. Okay. Then we can leave. <laughs> uh, let's fight. We need the experience. We actually do. Oh, uh, we're all diseased though. Turn. Are they all Whoa. far away? Yeah, they are kind of all far away. Turn. Where do I go from here? Oh, well, my spider is nowhere near here. Little spider. What did they just cast? He summoned a method. Oh. And it's only level the, one with six health, though. The woods have regeneration. It looks like plus, plus 10, ten per turn. Yeah. That's concerning. Uh, okay. I'm going to be using burning hands in a minute. I just need <laughs> them all to group up. That is a lot. Okay. Well, luckily they only have oh. six health. Uh, disable non-lethal, because apparently we were still using that. And action. Oh. Okay. Starting off. Get a little closer here. Oh, there's a Mephite right here. Yeah, there's one right in front of us. Oh. Oh, what the? Apparently they explode when killed, and now we have to be cautious of that. You're now muddy. They just cast dash on each other? Mm hmm. Hmm. Regeneration broken. Good. Oh, hell yeah. Um, You just cast haste? No. He said, hey. Wow. Uh, can... I cast vicious mockery and it didn't do anything. They saved. Because they're not, uh, they're not 
They're constructs. Constructs won't be affected by psychological damage. It says insult a creature. It doesn't say it has to be a specific creature. Yeah, but the creature has to be able to comprehend. You can't cast illusion on a spider. Like, it has to be something that makes sense to the spider. Well, maybe it's a good enough illusion. There are so many of these showing up. Yeah, that's a lot of methods. <sighs> All right. Oh, that was a big <laughs> chain reaction. <laughs> that kind of worked. <laughs> okay, this is the woad. woad. Yeah, let's take out the woad. Okay. Um, that went well. Drink a potion. And burn. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that one. Get that thing the fuck out of here. And then... And turn for you. Oh, that unsummoned my wolf. Bam. Probably because it... Fucking exploded us <laughs> and killed the wolf. <laughs> oh, hello. Critical oh, that's hit. You. Okay. Let's take care of the Mephites so we don't have any more of those to deal with. Good. Really? <laughs> he did not like my bard dance. A story and he has one freaking health. <laughs> I hate you so much. And the one freaking bonus action that I have is vampiric bite, and you can't use it on construct. <laughs> Alright, we're getting some archery practice in for Gale here. Alright, I'm no longer rotting. PhD. You are now flesh rot. Uh, so we just gained inspiration because one for the ages. Survive a fight in which you kill ten or more enemies. All right. You may want to do a long rest because yeah. we have flesh rot. Yeah. Um, I'm checking for any any loot whatsoever. Oh, there's I, a wooden I, chest back here. I'm doing a little bit of looting. Oh, there's bats. Bat wings. Neat. What's hiding here? Some vessels. The Sparkle Hands. Conductive strikes. On a hit with an unarmed attack, the wear gains two lightning charges. While imbued with lightning charges, attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal armor gain advantage. Interesting. Ooh. So if you have a pugilist. Okay. Right. I would Ready. very much like that to rest. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do that. Oh god. Uh, Our skin all, is all, rotting. All of us look so miserable. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots. Because we're all diseased. Aww. 
press your fingers to your mouth. Hey, yo. Same. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood. Oh, right, because you're becoming into one a thrall. Liquid. There's so many things happening. Are you kidding me? What'd you call me? Crawling through you. Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can no? Don't really feel it. In you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Huh. Also, why are you spectating me instead of yourself? I don't know. You seem to be the party leader. Hmm. I, and I'm fine with that. Like, I've been enjoying it. <laughs> Don't you see how far gone you are? Give me that blade. I'll make it quick. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, no. Wait, I have advantage and disadvantage. What the heck? Does it just cancel out? It does cancel out. Yeah. Uh oh. Do I'm I roll curious. again with my inspiration? Maybe. I mean, what do you. <laughs> I'll try once. <laughs> um, I Let's didn't... go! I didn't save, Easy. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start saving before we go to camp. One motion. Across the neck. Are you you're gonna kill Azel? Probably not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Slit her throat. <laughs> my anger is surpassed only by my respect. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn. I will end us all. Do you sleep? Now we're back to... Oh, is this Dreams of the Illithid? Yeah. Oh, hello? I came just in time. Oh. You are transforming. Oh, I forgot I made my guy a brutish fucking orc. <laughs> I forgot I had a guardian that looked so cute. <laughs> a drow, uh, half drow, half orc. Okay, uh, I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. Huh? Oh. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind player. Not while I'm around. Wow. I'll protect you. Take the hand. Greetings, space friend. I'm basically playing a drain eye instead of a deep lane. <laughs> there is great potential it comes from that power. I very much hate the voice that this character has. Oh no. It has the voice of like a human male. You chose but it's this it. big brutish fucking orc. It does not fit at all. Um. There's a great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn how to wield it. 
No way! I actually am a space elf? You can change that. Bog. I'm a Kaldore! I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. I was trying to be cheeky. This is actually like doing the thing that I was joking about. XDD. <laughs> Accidental DM. <laughs> Sandwife actually made this game. I promise. I mean, like, legitimately, there have been a number of plot points in this, and I'm like, hmm, I would have written this a different way. <laughs> wow. Wow. You can observe other party members' dreams. Having a private moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, one of us just had blood coming out. Yeah, there's blood coming out of your chest right now. What just happened? Oh, we still have fucking flesh oh. rot. Oh. For four rounds. For eight for you. I don't know if it's rounds or hours. That's the problem here. Milk Let's count down. Oh, okay, so it is round. Good. Uh... I want to talk to Will. I want to drink with him. I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is. The tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. You say that. Hmm. I can avoid pissing him off by just saying we should change the subject. I could also stand my ground about the fact that I'm looking at obtaining power, or I could remain quiet on the subject. I don't think Will trusts me in the first place. Like, I think the real reason that he came with is to keep an eye on us more than to stop the great threat. Hmm. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire and you get burned. That's always the way of it. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. Hey, okay. that's valid. We'll have to talk more later. Anything more we should discuss? I mean, I'd like him to join me, but he, the party members are limited to four, so... I have a good one, Will. Saved against flesh rot. Good. What happens if I don't save against flesh rot? My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. Oh. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. Well, you're not a warlock, you're a magic user, so... You wouldn't be the type to create that kind of contract normally. I had the same dream. A similar visitor with a similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of a lithid parasite, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. You know, I want... Of our predicament, perhaps. I want to learn so much more about this world from you because you're the Can most well-read person in the party. <laughs> uh... 
Something is delaying our transformation. Why not this dream visitor of ours? If so, we have far more to learn about the powers at play here. Our ignorance as to the exact nature and intent of our saviors is hardly cause for celebration. That's true. I hope your confidence proves well founded. God knows we could use all the help we can get. Oh, I can ask how he feels about the vampire. Hmm. A little bit of conflict. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to stir things up, but I also want it. To, I want to not have things stirred up. I want there to be everything on the table and people understanding and okay with it. Vampires are still a thing of nature. Apparently, Saris doesn't agree. Damn. And feels pretty strongly about it, too. Damn. Well? What do you think of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Gail, you're so good. Oh, <laughs> Gale. What did you say? We all have our burdens. <laughs> oh, our library. So that we can store all of our books in this little library tent here. Okay. Um, do I even have... Oh, I have so much random stuff in hand right now. Okay, I need to go to camp supplies. Uh, yellow chest. Yes. Oh, hey, Shadowheart. Should I talk to her? I wonder if she had a dream. Because she, uh... Whoop. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, um... What just happened? I failed the... Go uh, on the uh, fucking. Yeah. That chest has all of the books in it. Oh, did you put a chest in my pocket? No, I put it next to you. Okay. That works for me too. Right now, I'm just dropping things into here. And when we get to a place where there actually is like a substantial amount of money. Uh, we should absolutely go to our camp, grab a bunch of stuff, and sell it. <laughs> because holy cow, there's so much here. Faded instructions. Putting the soap bar in here. Commemorative. What else do I want to put down? Most of what I'm carrying is actually like stuff that I want on hand. Uh, the sparkle hands is only half a pound, so if we get into like a hand to hand, <gasps> if we get in a hand to hand combat fight where you have to like get into a bar brawl and you're not allowed to use a weapon, you just put on your gloves and start zapping the shit out of somebody. <laughs> 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 taser knuckles. Fucking actual taser knuckles. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna read this. The stained well thumb pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Chionthar, the Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from Elterel to Baldur's, Ga Baldur's Gate and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chionthar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between Elterel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for, enclave for saloon worship, with the temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Further east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll, However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. This stuff is so handy. Because that tells us that we can actually go find a temple and a, a town 
in along the same route that we're supposed to be following the the broken road. Mm. Oh, nice. I like the idea of just keeping all of our books in an opulent chest. That's way better. <laughs> it's so much better than just a pile of books. Okay. Uh, the pile of books can be the ones that you've already read. Ooh, I like that. Something the matter. Wait. <sighs> it hurts. What? The hell's was that? A joyous little affliction. That the hell's was what? Screaming agony on occasion. I'd uh, I'm talking to the daughter of darkness. But don't worry, can't hurt you. It's only me. She just took shadow damage. Like I was talking to her, and just an her, old wound that hurts me from time to time. Her arm started glowing. Nothing to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Okay. Something I have to live with. Aww. Instead of chronic pain, she has a chronic curse, and it causes chronic pain. <laughs> like, well, handicap representation. Like this, this stuff is actually important, and to see it in media, that like not all disabilities are visible. She's dealing with some stuff and has been for a while, but like. On the average, every representation I've seen of her from other people is, oh, this is the crazy lady. I'm like, I bet you she's not. I <laughs> bet you she's just dealing with some stuff. I'm the crazy lady. I'm the one that's, like, thirsting for power and trying to steal it from the Illithid. <laughs> uh, I'm the one uh, just stealing things. <laughs> yeah. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. I just noticed she has dragon eyes. Hmm. Turn to other matters. The artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? You could say that. And yes, I still have it. She does have dragon eyes. Why is it so important to you? Because it just is. Trust breeds candor. So for now, that's all you need to know. Understood. Turn to other matters. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. Where would you go? If you must know, Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. She said the name. What I'm doing there, or <laughs> who I'm meeting, or anything else. Okay. How am I holding up your estimation? Kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, you'll do. <laughs> and I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautoid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. I just noticed her armor is actually like way, way fancier than mine. I'm looking at the quality <laughs> of the weave of the ringmail that I'm wearing versus what she's wearing, and it's like mm -hmm. entirely different craftsmanship. I'm just wearing some mm -hmm. random stuff taken off of a dead knight. She's wearing something that was crafted by a blacksmith for her body. Mm -hmm. We should get to know each other a little more. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Yes, I am the type to pry. Are you the type to answer? My, look at you. Straight as an arrow and right to the point every I time. wouldn't say straight, but... This isn't the <laughs> arrow, I'm yes. Serious. The personality seems a little... lacking. <laughs> you got me. I am the mighty tadpole. This body is my vessel. And that's the vessel you chose. I jest. It's good to know you're not entirely without a sense of humor. 
Shall we? Yeah, we should get going. I mean, you can leave Gale behind and pick up uh, Shadowheart. Gale has been absolutely a really close friend to me. I, I really enjoy his company. I don't like okay. talking to Shadowheart. <laughs> I just, I'm very interested in her story because it, the journal entries keep saying Daughter of Darkness. So I'm like, what great evil is she actually the child of? <laughs> um, I need to take a short break. I need to go use the restroom. Uh, okay. And then we can continue our journey. I'm going to save here, too, in case the game decides to crash on us. Okay, I will be right back. My frickin' flu when?
God, Astarian is so freaking hot, dude. I love it. Thank you for entertaining <laughs> us with the, with your music. That's so good. What, what are you? I was doing the flute, and now I'm doing the bard dance. Oh wow! How do I dance? Uh, uh you need an oh, instrument. Wow. So here, take oh, sure. um, yeah. take this one. It'll be in Gale's inventory. The yeah. loot of the Merryweather Bard. Okay. The only loot that hums the voice of the numerous sprites and spirits not proficient with musical instrument. Well, we'll give it a try anyways. You have to equip it. It goes above your range. Ah. Oh. Okay. And then it's, yeah, right there. You're struggling over there. A little bit, it looks like. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I, I have to post this in our, our Discord here. There we go. Here, let me join you. Okay, okay. Uh, up, up, up. <laughs> the two of us just looking so confused at our <laughs> instruments. That's so you good. The, you still have the be right back on your screen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even here. Uh, let's see your virtual puppy, and be right back. And blah. Okay. Yeah, I need to like correct a few things here now. Uh, adorable and awful. So that wasn't taking up any other slot? Interesting. Yeah, no, you can hold on to that. And it'll okay. just be an instrument that you can play during battle. It'll be okay. funny. It's handy in case I absolutely run out of things to do in combat. My ranger, the one character that's already over-specialized in too many different things at once. It doesn't now... even like count as an action or anything. So oh, that's cool. you can... Use your action, bonus action, and then just start playing music. <laughs> so what if I did... <laughs> Give me just a moment. What are you... Oh, hello. It's Mama Spider. Yeah. Do they both have arachnid jump? <laughs> uh, let's take a look. This one has web, disengage, arachnid jump, and dash. Jump up, down, and across. Your strength affects how far you can jump. Six meters. Other spider is... 18 meters. So big spider does not have as good of an arachnid jump. I'm going to dismiss summon. And switch to... Oh, not find familiar. Wait, did I... Must take a short rest. Are you kidding me? I messed up there. Sorry for wasting a short rest. I wanted to find yeah, out about fine. the other summon, though. We do have okay. three short rests per long rest because Astarian has an extra one. Oh, right. I love that Astarian's like 
practicing like actually practicing the <laughs> violin while we're at camp that is so cool to me as like a lore thing in in our little story that our camp always has music there's the always the best somebody... part is, is like he's not even supposed to be a bard he's supposed to be a rogue well you can play something without being a bard <laughs> like he's just a musician no, like, I, I subclassed him as a bard. Oh, so he actually is a bard. He is now. <laughs> huh. Where's our experience bar? Uh, you have to open up your inventory for it. No, we're all about to level up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Current le experience level... Or experience required to gain a level, 185 for you and Gale, 155 for Starion, and 115 for me. I don't know why I have more experience. Uh, sometimes there's, like, the stuff that gives you the inspiration points that gives, mm. like, just you. Okay. Because of your background or something like that. You ready to head out? Yeah. Up lane. <laughs> What's inside? Okay. What a vase over here. Need to find a way forward. No, oh, I got another freaking cut. Oh no. So you found a thing up here. Let's see if there's anything of great interest. No perception rolls. The neat bird making neat noises. Dang, we went all the way out here for some thieves tools and rope. I mean, thieves tools are great. Yeah, but I already have a bunch of them. And you're going to keep using them up. So we want more. Like, they're 40 Are you gold apiece. I'm bad. <laughs> it only uses them if you lose. They're if you oh. fail the roll. I see. And I have a plus seven without bardic inspiration. Hey there, Hunter. How you doing? Hi, Hunter. Your dog oh. is not following. Dog. Yo, dog. <laughs> Glow dog. Dog, dog teleport. Spider also not going. Why did my game just pause? It said you started a conversation. Oh, I feel like I'm being watched now. Oh. Look for anything out of the ordinary. I need to roll a 20 for this. I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration. Okay. I got a 6. Alright. Well, I'm going to not use my Inspiration point for that. Okay. We're just being watched. Nothing Something. else. There's definitely something here. What? What? I, I keep picking the bushes. <laughs> oh, it's stop. stop hurting yourself. Okay, oh, I... The apples. I'm certain there's something over here. I found a trap, but I can't see the trap. Oh, right there. I'm walking through the creek. I might find something neat. Might get hurt. I found a teddy bear. Hmm. It has a muddy note inside it. 
Read. A worn note splattered with mud attached to a doll. It was cleanly written in a hurry. Hold this every time you miss mummy, baby, and do not leave camp. Back soon. Oh no. So this is a stuffed bear that is also a storage unit. And mm. uh, now I'm kind of curious as to like, what else can we find over here? So you have a stuffed bear as a storage unit, and I have a, um, I have a book as a storage unit. Interesting. <laughs> not enough space, not enough space, pass is interrupted, and I can't get back there. That was my goal, was to go upstream and, like, forge our way. <laughs> I wish that we could just get in a boat. God frickin' damn it. The perception <laughs> check never goes fast enough. Yeah, I think it's meant to be that you're supposed to be either walking to uh, manage your perception checks or sneaking. Meowch. I don't know what just hurt me, but that's cool. Yeah, another trap. Uh, hey, doggo. Never a dull moment. All right. Uh, I'm going to follow the path. My spiders. Ah, there we go. These boots have seen everything. Were These they ungrouped? Yeah, they keep ungrouping. You're way over here. Yeah, I did the little path follow. We'll just let auto passing handle this. Meowch. Yep, everybody's gonna get infected again, and it's gonna suck. Oh, uh -oh. And, yeah, Lazelle's gonna be upset. Something good here, I hope. Oh the no, boxes. the spider's gonna die. I mean, you can use your short rest ability. Goodbye, little spider. <laughs> Goodbye, little spider. Hiss, ribbit, hiss. Oh, there's a traveler's chest over here. And there's something that keeps saying hiss, ribbit, hiss. So I'm going to have to use speak with animals on self. Arrow of acid. Very nice. Okay. There. Ah, little frog. I'm going to go talk to it. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and get flesh rot this time. Ooh. I'm looking for Auntie Ethel. Do you know her? Do you live here? It's beautiful. What are you croaking on about? We're doing all right. I feel. What twisted you like this? Oh no! I'm glad we knocked out those guys. Perhaps I should just go. Okay. We need to not kill any of the sheep or any... People are having polymorph cast on them. Were the sheep weird as well? Yep. They were hissing at me, and they had the voices of goblins. Mm. Also, my character could be completely out of her mind. Like, we've, we're delirious from poison and disease, and... Hmm, there's a reinforced greatsword and a reinforced... Wait, what? A uh, helmet. Sword and a hat. Wow. Do you want to explore around before going up to her place? Because that's, that's her cabin. 
we finally found the entrance. Oh, uh, I'm fine with just going, going in. There's a wagon over here I want to investigate. Oh, uh, before we go on, I have a wood woad shield that I got Ooh. off the uh, wood woads we killed. What does it do? Um, oh no! It has the ensnaring strike. Ooh! I oh new sigil. Yep, we now have we... new portal. I'm not proficient with shields. Uh, I already have the glowing shield. Uh, what's his? Uh, Gale could use it. No, Gale can't use it because he's using the spear returning now. Well, we'll have it just to have it. Yep, seems like a good thing to hold on to. I'm gonna check out. There is a person here named Gondrel. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Huh. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hmm. hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Huh. Who are you? Today, the same as you. A humble supplicant come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. The lady of the house. A more innocent name than some I could call her. But it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. And are you fool enough? Of course. I'm a hunter who lost his prey, and here I am seeking help from something worse. But she thrives on suffering. Once she hears what awaits my quarry when I catch him, she will help. Huh. Who is it? To oh, I'd like to trade. <laughs> Torches, gold, potions. Potions. Gimme. Arrow of fire, arrow of acid, both very handy. Especially the arrow of fire allows me to do um, firebolt abilities on like grease traps and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm That great axe plus one is real cool, but like, yeah, no, nobody's gonna use it. <laughs> nobody's gonna use it. I don't see us changing the party dynamic at all. Like, I like the idea of actually trying to get characters up to level fifteen. That would be awesome. Okay. Equalize. Let's see if there's anything else I want to get rid of. No, we're good. Also, I'm I'm realizing now that Saris is hovered in various grenades and stuff. Um, cool. I'll take that. Hmm. Oh, this is her house. Go ahead. The lady of the house awaits. Who is that you're hunting? Afraid, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Hmm.
I have disadvantage due to flesh rot. You could just wait it out. <laughs> How long? It says 19. It's going to be a while. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do this. Ugh. It's already... Oh. Nah, shit. Oh, well. He doesn't trust me. That's okay. He'll probably end up trying to fight us. Oh, roll again with inspiration. I don't think I care that much. Yeah, you'd also have to roll again with disadvantage. I must survive what waits in that house. One terror at a time. Maybe this guy will help us. Do you mind if we do a uh, rest? Sure, I don't mind. Okay. I could also use cure wounds instead. Um... Wait, it... No, does it just heal? Yeah, you're right. I thought there was something that I could do that would get rid of all this sickness and poison. Let's try this out. Is it working? People are cheering, but... No. <laughs> but we're all cheering for you now. Also, this is just like a cute little area. It kind of looks like I'm yeah. just headbanging, so I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, screen cap that. Go back over here, hit this, and go back over here. Okay, yeah. Whatever whatever we were up to, that didn't work. Uh, I can try and like talk to him from one side and see if I can get him to turn around. You can try and pick the bag. I can probably pick the bag. I'm just standing right here. Hmm. Oh, he he moved. That was spooky. Don't mind if I do. Wait, your performance is what's distracting him. Oh, That's there. Um. Yourself. You're being watched. <laughs> I still looted it all, though. <laughs> Time to press ahead. <laughs> Yonk. You have so much stuff in your... You need to drop that all. <laughs> you need to send it all to the, the camp. That takes too long. There's too much stuff. That actually affects your... Wait, there's a well? Why is... Why does it tell me I can use it? A refreshed. It says you're I'm drinking refreshed. from the well. Oh. Huh. A warm rush of power flows through you. Wait, what? Fresh, sweet smelling water I want well of power water. <laughs> well of power water. Give me that rock star well. The warm Rush of power flows through you. It is probably it's going to kill us. Better. Potion of greater healing on the back porch. Mm. Wow, this house is huge and gorgeous. Um, let's save. Okay. Because I get the feeling we're about to do some some murdering and some hoboing. There are... I'm sure she won't be murderous. That one lady that uh, we were supposed to find, she's down there too. I just saw her by looking through the wall. Yeah, need... I'm sure she won't be murderous. Let's go get some tea. Go, go away! away. Oh, she's talking to the dog. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. Oh, if it isn't my hero. Huh. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? God, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Huh. What's the bad news? Wait, did you click it? I did not. Oh, okay. The text disappeared for a second. I was Same. Confused. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Um. Ooh, we could ask for help <laughs> about the parasite. Oh yeah, she said she had something back at her home, back at her house for the parasite. Oh, that was a conversation you had real early on. I wasn't a part of that one. Yeah, no, th that's what I was saying. It's the old lady from the town. Like, okay. all the way back. Yeah, I think I went to jail when that happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we ask about the parasite? That's up to you. Do you think yeah. we're gonna... Of course. Oh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to me. Now, I must confess, I told a bit of a white lie. I mm -hmm. said I had something at home that could help. Well, that something is me. Forgive me. I didn't want the Grove's prying eyes in my business. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Hmm. Depends well, on the price. On the job. Removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. Pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Hmm. <laughs> I could I could have an eye patch. That'd be pretty cool. It sounds like well, I mean, hmm. Up to you. You want me to roll a dice for you? <laughs> like imagine how cool my character would look with an mm -hmm. eye patch yeah yeah it definitely matches her aesthetic however i do like my demonic purple eyes yeah you've got That's really a pretty poor eyes. bargain i'll try so, my luck so elsewhere quiet you've had enough pampering what, what? and you my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. What? I wish I had a bag of holding. You can talk to her, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this isn't real. What's hidden behind it? The fireplace isn't real. Autumn Crocus. Oh. Ah, okay. Well, time for a fight. What did she turn into? Use Potion of Invisibility. Where is she? She's back where we uh, were talking to her. I don't see her. Yeah, she used a Potion of Invisibility. Oh. Uh, not no resource points. Yeah, I'll just block her with wolf body. Okay. We we'll use Blade Hi. Ward and then I'll play a fancy tune. Let's see. Oh wait, yeah, I have an AoE spell, so I can. I was gonna say I've got a couple of AoE abilities as well. I can use a uh, hail of thorns. Oh, it has to have a target. Uh, something just I mean, took 10 damage. It was probably a candle or something. Yeah, she has 112 health, it turns out. Oh my. Yeah, so, uh, hold on a sec. I have a bottle of grease. I'm gonna throw that. 
over here. Path is interrupted. Just try and sneak up on us, lady. <laughs> uh, I've got a smoke powder satchel, so when you when you step back, I'll be able to use that. Does anybody hurt my wolf? Is I don't have any other abilities I can use right now, so I will also perform uh, to attract <laughs> and delight those around you. All right, and turn. What fools these mortals be? Mage armor. Probably a good idea. Hold on a second. The target cannot be wearing armor. Doesn't grant any additional benefits. Okay, so cast on self. He's gonna need it. Turn. Turn. Okay, I'm turning. Spider. Arachnid jump. Block old lady. Enter. Okay. Oh. Bye bye, lovelies. Oh, and enjoy my well water. Ah. What? Um. I can't have gone far. Um. We drank from that well water. We did. Do you want to steal everything? We're nauseated. Ah, oh, frick. I accidentally spoke with a Starian. Oh, alright. Excuse me? Not every monster hunter we Oh no, you upset him! Kill me. Then again, I said the- exactly I freaking automatically him. clicked the button. Oh, uh, right. what did he look like? Oh. Oh, he might actually be being hunted by this guy. Hold on, H his dialogue name... history. Oh, Metal yeah, Monster Hunter. Oh, it was the guy. Yeah. A girl? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Kazador. <laughs> of course he'd send a girl to hunt me down. And who is Kazador? Kazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Yo. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Huh. I mean, I know exactly well, why a monster hunter would work for a vampire. They wouldn't know. Yeah, exactly. Casador likely paid someone to pay someone to call in a favor. And here we are. He doesn't do simple plans. Not if he has a complex one that pits a dozen enemies against him. <laughs> That's a good vampire right there. <laughs> so we should... Me know that even hmm. out here, he can get to me. That's why that guy just stood there and watched him play. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, you're safe with me. Vampire He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. That sounds like us as a party. <laughs> and you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Vampires aren't invincible. We could take them. Just trust me when I say we need to be careful. He'll send more lackeys. He has plenty of souls to command. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Aww. That was an option? That was an option you could do? What, that you can feed on me tonight? Yeah. Yeah, you can I'm, always do that one. I'm taking every every potion this lady has. We're serving cursed tea and skulls and bottles. <laughs> I 
Oh my. What'd you find? Up the ladder, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we can loot. So she took all of her victims with her. I mean, she only just went behind the fireplace, no? Yeah, she went behind the fireplace and cast a Sphere of Darkness, it looked like. Which, out of character information, I know. Save failed, grief. Oh, Gale! <laughs> He's having a lay down. <laughs> My wolf just jumped up here. Household prayer. There's some things I'm gonna have to read here. Bully lug trumpet. Swarming toadstool. I got some alchemy stuff. Mm -hmm. Elfin wood soul. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Wooden soled shoes. Like, if we're going to have to fight this lady, we're going to... I'm kind of curious about going back to the encampment. We found drow poison. We can use it on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Oh. Toad teapot. Version of healing. Grilled what? Grilled something ribs. Rosa? Letter from M. Letter begins in an elegant cursive but ends in harsh sloping scrawl. Ethel, horses are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I have killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep, but if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. I'm taking this. I think I found Ethel. Okay. Look off to that way. Give me I wish a I could, like, slash point. Uh, right click, alt. Or alt right click. Well, yeah, but, like, I, I can't, like, oh, go hey. into, like, a point motion. Arcane barrier. Huh. God damn it. Looks like we can access it from the swamp? There's a... Oh! 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 The illusion is broken. Look around us. Look at the, oh. the hunter. Mm hmm. Okay, I need to look around the rest of the building myself here. Let's see. I keep accidentally talking to a starry and instead of fucking clicking to move. Spoiled, tr spoiled treacle tart. Picked up a relic. Oh, a bottle. What is happening? I'm hearing spell casting. Is dark vision. Oh, oh, that worked. What? What did? You, what happened? I was able to walk in here. Oh. Huh. I'm still looting, my apologies. You're good. The main point being, I want to make certain I get everybody possessions. I already looted all of that. Bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. Her voice dropped in an interesting way. Potato. Potato. Okay. And the other part being, like, I need to see if my character has a perception check that she passes that uh, we miss otherwise. Wait a sec, Ooh. wait a sec. The uh, polished apples turned into poisoned apples. In my I inventory. had a feeling, yeah. That's why I was saying we should hold on to these and feed them to the goblins and see what happens. <laughs> Spoiled treacle tart. That was the thing that she was being fed. And a very, very mm. fancy plate. How can I help? Oh, hey, Gail. Uh, nothing right now, bud. That was really sweet of him to ask, though. Just out of nowhere. 
What did he ask? How can I help? <laughs> okay, there's a cleaver here. Last distillation kit. Huh. I wish I could take it with me, but I guess it's way too fancy and like I'm breakable. <laughs> well, like. We're supposed to be able to do alchemy. That's one of the things that I would need. Oh, um, you and Astarian leveled up. All oh, right. Uh, I will hit that in just a moment. We should also honestly long rest because of all the damage we took in the swamp. Uh, level button. Ranger level 4. 32 health. Replace spell. New feat available. No! Okay. Ugh. New feat. What feat? Oh! Proficiency with heavy armor. You gain armor proficiency with heavy armor. And your strength increases to, by 1 to a maximum of 20. Mm. But let's see what other... This... I, my apologies, folks, to anybody watching. This is going to be a minute because this is the actual part of D&D &D side of things where this is all relevant to me. <laughs> Increase one ability by 2 or two abilities by 1 to a maximum of 20 each. The mortal limit. Charisma increase... Your proficiency bonus is also doubled for deception and performance checks. Neat. Ow. I need to let my hair down. I've had it up in a fancy way all day and it's giving me a headache. Uh, alert. Plus five bonus to initiative and you cannot be surprised. That is a ranger baseline. What the hell? Why do I not have that as a ranger? Like <laughs> that is That is built into the class, you bastards. Why would you take that from me? Making me have to choose that? That's why I chose the class! Ugh. Athlete, when you are prone, standing up using significantly less movement, your jump distance also increases by half. You gain charger, weapon attack, and charger. Shove. Make crossbow attacks within melee range. The attack rolls do not have disadvantage. Your piercing shot also gains gaping wounds for twice as long. When attacked while wielding a finesse weapon you're proficient with, you can use reaction to add your proficiency bonus to armor class, which possibly a causing huh? the attack to miss. Oh, it says it's a trade-off. Dual wielder. You can use two weapon fighting even if your weapons are not light, and you can gain a plus one bonus to armor class while wielding a heavy melee weapon in each hand, but you cannot dual wield heavy weapons. Dungeon Delver. Advantage on perception checks made to detect hidden objects and on saving throws made to avoid or resist traps. You also gain resistance to the damage dealt by traps. That one could be really useful based on how much I just walk into things. Durable. Increase constitution. Regain full hit points each time you take a short rest. That could get huge later, because like short rest isn't guaranteed full health. It's only like plus 2d8. Uh, spells that ignore resistance to a damage type of choice... Elemental Adept, that's fun. Great Weapon Master. When you land a critical hit or kill target with a melee weapon attack, you can use another melee weapon attack as a bonus action that turn. Attacks with melee weapons, heavy melee you are proficient with, gain an additional 10 damage at the cost of a minus 5 to roll. Ooh, I hate that. Not interested. Lightly armored. Gain armor proficiency with light armor. Lucky. Gain 3 luck points you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws, or make an enemy re-roll their attack rolls. Mage Slayer. Enemies you hit have disadvantage on their con concentration. Magic Initiate. Learn two cantrips and one level one spell from the Bard spell list. You can cast level one spell once per long rest. Your spell casting ability for all three spells is Charisma. Cleric, Druid, Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard. Martial. Oh, jeez. You learn two maneuvers from the Battlemaster subclass and gain a superiority die to fuel them. You regain expended superiority die after short or long rest. Adding yet a third different spell series to my character. <laughs> no, that'd be a fourth. Jeez. 
Medium armor master. Uh, could be handy. Mobile. Movement speed increases. Difficult terrain doesn't slow you down when you dash. If you move after making a melee attack, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from your target. I can just dance around people's opportunity abilities. Moderate armor. Mm, performer. Pole arms master. Resilient. Uh, gain two ritual spells of your choice. I don't know ritual. Oh, wait. Wait. No, that's ceremony. Never mind. I was like... Oh, that's so tempting, though. Okay, so part you of why... You can click on it and then see. It doesn't part... automatically lock in. I know, but I'm like... It, it, the ideas that I have aren't in the game. They're... <laughs> They're too old and no longer integrated into the baseline D&D. So, like, the things that I'm doing are flavor-based, but they would actually be mechanical in 2nd edition. I, uh, I chose having the familiar of Spider Companion because my character is a follower of the God of Spiders. Mm. Uh, but she's not a cleric of, or a paladin of any sort, so she can't actually, like, gain, um, the, the follower thing in the first place from them. Let's look. Rituals, change spells would be disguise self, enhance sleep, long strider, find familiar, or speak with dead. From the list below, spells you know... I guess that's I would have to have like the uh but they're ritual spells. These aren't rituals. These are I'm so confused by what is calling a ritual. I think it's just an excuse to have a spell slot. <laughs> Savage attack. When making weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Advantage attack damage instead of advantage to hit. That's interesting. Sentinel. When you gain when an enemy with a melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. Target ally must not have must not have the sentinel feet. You gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the rest of its turn. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, so I have to be surrounding a target, but it could make me... Hmm... Ranged weapon attacks do not receive penalties from high ground rules. Ranged weapon attacks with weapons you are proficient with have a minus 5 penalty to their attack roll, but deal an additional 10. What the hell? Shield Master gain plus 2 bonus to dex on saving throws while wielding a shield. If the spell forces you to make a dex throw, you can use a reaction to shield yourself and diminish the effect's damage. On a failed saving throw, you still only take half damage. On a successful saving throw, you don't take any damage. My shield can actually be used to block all incoming damage from things like dragon fire. It's a very powerful ability. That is pretty powerful. Spell Sniper. You learn a cantrip and the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. <laughs> That's fun. Tavern Brawler. When you make an unarmed attack, use an improvised weapon or throw something. Your strength modifier is added twice to the damage and attack rolls. Hit point <laughs> maximum increases by two for every level you have gained. Huh. Plus eight. Warcaster. Uh, you gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. You can also use reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee range. <gasps> Wait! You can use Shocking Grasp as an advantage attack of opportunity? That's amazing! Weapons Master. You gain proficiency with four weapons of your choice, and your strength or dexterity also increases by one to a maximum of 20. Those are all great. Uh, I'm interested in mobile. I like the idea of Sentinel. I like the idea of Shield Master. Uh, heavily armored gives me heavy armor proficiency, which means that I would no longer lose the ability to cast certain spells. Mm -hmm. It would also make me the only heavy armor user in the entire party. Could be helpful. Like, yeah, it, it, it branches things out a little bit. I well, think I'm going actually. You are currently the only medium armor <laughs> user. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> but other people can up like thieves can upgrade to medium armor with with the right like builds and stuff. Yeah. So this would make me the only heavy armor user in the party, which it for the purposes of like if we find equipment, it doesn't have to be split up as much because we wouldn't all yeah. be fighting over the only medium armor. I think I'm going to do this and take the plus one strength, which will all also give us more strength check uh, stuff. My character already has. Oh, never mind. She only has a strength of 12. I should probably be going for something that increases dex then. Uh, no, I need I need I need the the armor proficiency. Like as much as I don't want to be wearing heavy armor as a rogue, we do hmm. need it as a part. Not a rogue, a ranger. We need it as a party. I say. Fuck the party. Okay, go with, so, go with it, what would fit your character. What would fit her would also still be heavy. She's intending on becoming an uh, astral lich. Like, out of uh, oh. <laughs> in character information that nobody else has, internally, she intends on becoming a font of power. <laughs> well, then there you go. Yeah, heavy armor. She's doing the edgelord route. Okay. My wolf just resummoned itself for free when I leveled up, and I got free healing. Do you mind? I wish I could oh, talk with Lupus. Also, Astarian. You're nauseated. I'm nauseated. Vulnerable to psychic and acid damage until long rest. We should do the long rest. And okay. drop off <laughs> drop off the pile of loot in your hand. It's not that much. Okay, it might be that much. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, Starion has story for you. Mm-hmm. Don't waste a step. My friend. <laughs> Is he drunk? Are you drunk? Not alcohol, of course. A bear. Oh, that makes sense, actually. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dangerous meal. It's nothing compared to... Well, uh, other things I could be dining on, but significantly <laughs> better than the rats and bugs Casador served me. I knew it, you could become a vampire. It sounds it was delicious. Exactly as appetizing as you think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. True. Exactly. You can be better. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Gay. Oh, you meant be kinder. Pet bunnies, that's the <laughs> thing. I have no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. Oh, a starian. Mm, the vampire bend after others my in heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're free now. That's what matters. What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadows? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Kazador into the dust. Never powerful yes. enough to do whatever the hell I want. The strong have a duty to protect job, the weak. The strong <laughs> had two centuries to pluck me from torture. But no one came. No. It was the Mind Flayers that rescued me. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Fuck yeah. You're getting scary there, Astarian. We all are, and I'm loving it. 
we started it as probably a chaotic good party, but we're definitely traveling down a certain kind of path. Fucking Lazel said my dog could do better than that when I tried to play my flute. <laughs> Opulent chest. Mm, letter from M. Important. And warning from the Sword Coast. Just any kind of literature I'm sticking into the opulent chest. Simple poison recipe. Hold up. Read. I have long wondered about whether to publish any malevolent concoctions I've encountered. Nikros convinced me that with his damnable smile of his, but it is true that the life of an adventure can be made safer through a good offense. Please use this recipe responsibly and do not cause any harm to other thinking creatures. Recipe for one vial of simple poison. Extracts needed. One vitriol of bone cap. One ash of dagger root. Method. Sprinkle the ashes over the vitriol. Do not stir. Cap the vial and wait until it exudes an acrid smell. And remember, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. Hmm. Oh, I actually got a recipe for that. Heck yeah. Oh, nice. Lathander to light, saloon to guide, Kelevdor to judge, and passage provide. I think that's actually the uh, the note we needed to be able to get into inside the fireplace if we didn't have dark vision in the party. Ah. Uh... Candles in the sword coast. Necromancy of Thay. Oh, I found a lock tight with no visible keyhole. I forgot Only about this. Oval recess in the cover's mouth. Oh yeah, the fucking the Necronomicon. <laughs> you try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Will is watching me. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Like, what the fuck are you doing with we that should, book there, Buckaroo? Where anyone could stumble across it. Mm. Put the book away. Interesting. Okay. Also, Gail needs to not be given opulent chest. He does not have that much carry weight. <laughs> <laughs> he is buff wizard. Mm -hmm.
what's in here? Elminster's not around, so it might as well. I've got a long road ahead. The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Hello. I don't know when I muted myself. But Stone's muted. Hmm. Hello. Hi. I'm talking to my sister right now. Oh, gotcha. Oh, mess. This is what? Random weapons. And some basic armor. And bottles. Okay. So these are just valuable things that are come on. As I'm moving my mouse, it is like just randomly choosing not to work anymore. Cool, thanks, game. There's no quick transfer. I hate that. So much. Some rope stacks and some rope doesn't. Strange. Wow, a lot of this glass is actually worth quite a bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bang. Go. A ball. I just have a ball. Oh. 
makes good noise. Uh, empty potion bottle. I don't know what I'll do with that, but I have it. But the rest of these all seem like useful items. Oh, no, we got rotten cheese still. Toad teapot, which doesn't seem to be used for anything. Mistress of the Night and Friends. We have so many books to read. Okay, so that's that. That's that. That's camp supplies. That's backpack. Open. So at one point we were organizing these for the purpose of... Yeah, okay. Take all out of that one. Open that one. Random housewares? Yeah, at one point we were organizing these based on like the premise that we would end up decorating a place, but... Now... Now I'm more interested in just selling a lot of these. <clears throat> A lot of good books, though. So that's cool. Okay. Multiple camp supply sack. Pause. Open. Pause. Drop. Drop. Okay, that works. That's armor. Drop. Open. That's armaments. Can I stick a box in a box? Will it let me? Yes, it will. I can stick boxes in boxes. That is very silly. Okay, and then... I do appreciate that this allows to do... Quick organization. Run. Food. 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 Though quite a bit of flesh remains on this apple, it is steadily turning a moldy brown. Let's stone carrot. Old Chevon. Simple cut of goat's meat grilled over a campfire and peppered with roadside herbs. Oh, that's such a fun concept. Like, being able to pick your herbs along the side of the road as you walk. Other people doing... So sweet, you can barely taste the mold. Uh, but like, other adventurers doing their own thing with that as well and causing, like, nature to spread. Oh, no, no moldy food in there, apparently. But that counts as camp supplies. That doesn't. I see. Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Send to camp. What's that? Uh, actually, yeah. Off me. These will all be useful. Okay, and then... Uh... Where did... Oh, the elaborate reliquary. 
No. That's clothing chest. That's wooden chest. Where did where did pile of books go? Or do I just have did I open it? Opulent chest is books, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's the right one. So many books. I love that. Spicy pork sausage. This all does take so bloody long. I forgot I had two silver ingots. <clears throat> I'm gonna put that in with the rest of the... Oh no, that's becoming a trash barrel, isn't it? I hate that. I'm gonna put this over here, put these... And other valuable objects. Incense is worth quite a bit. So that just stays in our inventory. Frown of Madness. We have some spells I was not aware of. Chromatic Orb, Crown of Madness, and still madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature close to them other than you, even if it's allied. Fog Cloud. Fog Cloud could be very useful with the, the thieves involved. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Not only can you open bags and bags, you can uh, store bags and bags. <laughs> uh, this is very much not good. <laughs> Um, hey, tea. That's considered camp supplies. You know what? I'm putting it in with these anyways. Sausage and tea. For later use. Rest of this. Uh, cups as well. Huh. I want to put down all of the fancy little sprawled things, I guess. I'm right here will work. Oh, hey. What's in here? Oh.
with some powerful things to have. I just take all. Most of these not really useful. Reinforced greatsword is very light compared to others. That's interesting. All right, we'll put things in here. Our habitual squirreling continues. Where is... And Jethirian Vintner weighs layers elegant and expressive flavor like a bard's melody. Like the uh, the notes on all these different spirits. It's good flavor. Okay, that handles all the camp supply stuff. Hi. It won't let me. Hmm. That's all the books. Gale can level up. Thank you. I will do so. Oh, got another spell slot. Gained two spells. Gained a cantrip and new feats. Wow. Oh, hey! Change your cantrip selection by choosing from the spell list below. Cantrips don't use spell slots and can be cast at will. And illuminate a 9 meter radius. Infuse an object with an aura of light. Friends, gain advantage on charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. The target might accuse you of enchanting them in higher difficulty modes. Oh, that's amazing. Blade Ward. Take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, uh, shocking grasp. The target cannot use reactions. This spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. I love shocking touch. It's such a fun spell. Poison spray. Protect a puff of noxious gas. Three meter. Bone chill. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. Acid splash. Throw a bubble of acid that damages each creature it hits. 18 meter range. I wonder what the radius is. Minor illusion. Create an illusion that compels nearby creatures to investigate. True strike. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. Hmm. More melee spells aren't really going to help him. He's got plenty that he's able to deal with his like physical weaponry. Blade Ward. But light might be useful. Infuse an object with an aura of light is also an interesting concept. Like, I could cast that on an enemy, so they would lose their advantage checks. But they would also, if nobody would be able to sneak up on them, then. Okay. I like the idea of friends, though. We can use that on, on weaker-willed targets to ensure that we get through things. I don't think that Gale would be necessarily the type of person that would want to do that, though. He actually seems like he's legitimately a good person. That just He, he wants information and wants to talk to other people that can give him information, but he doesn't want to force his will on others the way that others in the party seem to be so willing to do. True Strike could be very, very useful. Especially if he has to ready between things. Hmm. Yeah, True Strike. Spells. What do we got? Cloud of Daggers. Blur. Blindness. 
Very useful. Arcane Lock. Crown of Madness. Aura of Darkness. Dark Vision. Detect Thoughts. Melf's Acid Arrow! That's actually a very useful one. 6 to 24 damage. I shoot a green arrow that covers the target and the ground with acid. Deals 4 to 16 acid damage immediately and 2 to 8 acid damage at the end of the target's turn. Covers the target and the ground. Okay. Magic weapon. Infuse a weapon with magic energy. The weapon becomes magical, receiving plus one bonus to attack and damage. So plus one, plus one. Knock. Unlock an object held shut by a mundane lock. Invisibility. Hold person. Invisibility on self. Touch a creature to turn it invisible. Ooh. Party chaos. Hold person. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, or react. Attacks from within three meters are always critical hits. Lasts for ten turns. Gust of wind. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back, forcing them off balance. Flaming sphere. Summons a flaming sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere. It emits bright light. Enlarge or reduce. Mirror image. Create three illusory duplicates yourself that distracts attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three. Phantasmal Force. Deal damage to a creature each turn. The type of damage changes to the last type the creature suffered. Lasts for ten turns. That is not at all what Phantasmal Force is. That's an interesting ability, though. Hmm. <laughs> Phantasmal Force is a situational skill in 2nd edition, and I'm assuming in really any edition of D&D, &D, and so... To make it a usable skill in combat would mean that there's a standard amongst players that have used it as a as an attack ability. But Phantasmal Force isn't necessarily an attack ability. It's situational, the same as Mage Hand or Tensor's Floating Disc. And can be used, indeed, to, to cause damage, but can also be used to do other things. You could run a shop with magical servants using Phantasmal Force. You could engineer things. You could create automa automatons. You can make uh, <laughs> if you if you are of the right will and and int and all that. Uh, you can make yourself a giant robotic magical dwarven mecha. Like that's within the rule set of D and D. You can do that using phantasmal force. <laughs> Oh, Rave Enfeeblement, Weakens a Foe, they deal half damage, weapon attacks using Strength, Scorching Ray, hurls three rays of fire, each deals 2 to 12 damage. See Invisibility, become able to see invisible creatures and possibly reveal them to others. That would be useful. Web, Burning Hands, also very useful. Chromatic Orb, also very useful. Enhanced Leap, triple jumping distance. Ice Knife, throw a shard of ice that deals 1 to 10 piercing damage, it explodes and deals... 2 to 12 cold damage to anyone nearby. It also leaves an icy surface. Find familiar. Shield. Tasha's hideous laughter. These are all tier 1s. Okay. We're going to want to focus on those level 2s. So I think invisibility. So that we can do some things as a party. And <laughs> Flaming Sphere deals damage for ten turns. For ten turns. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take on a vampire. <laughs> oh, you only have so many spell slots.
Oh, now I'm having to like actually think about a lot of these. Thank you, Stone, for the reminder that I needed to do this because I forget the spellcasters always have so much more. All right, let's take a look at it. Lightly armored. No. No. When attacking with a glaive, halberd, quarterstaff, or spear, you can use a bonus action to attack with the butt of your weapon. You can also make an opportunity attack when an, uh, whenever a target comes within range. Whoa! I can make him capable of self-defense while he's casting other spells. Hmm... Not looking too good. Um, oh, wow. I... I hope your stepsister recovers soon. Uh, damn. <laughs> I hope everyone else is doing okay. Oh, interesting. Thorn whip. Pull a creature closer. Target cannot use reactions. Conjure a beam of crackling energy. Huh. I need to take a look at his abilities. That is a pike. What is it considered? Pike, uh, two-handed, thrown, extra reach. A crazy Wilbur is a technique invented by Dorvis Ticklebeard clan. Involves getting your larger enemies to swallow your weapon, then calling it back to you as messily as possible. I mean, it's a pike, so that's considered a long two-handed weapon, but I don't know if that means that it's considered a pole arm. It should be, but, like, game isn't telling me that. Also, I have to reselect everything. Dang it. Alright. Yeah. True strike. Invisibility and hold person. Pair of spells. Um, 
limpo. Might accuse you of enchanting them. What do you agree? That one is useful. These are all spells that he already has. Shalele. Produce flame. Guidance. Thaumaturgy. Gain advantage. Sacred flame. No healing. Then again, these are all... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Create or destroy water. Destroy a water-based surface. What if I cast that on a river? <laughs> Blessing, bless up to three creatures, inflict wounds, bane, opposite of bless. These are necromantic abilities. Okay. All targets within the light turn visible and attack rules against them have advantage. That one's useful. Gaining chromatic orb could be very fun to have early on. Um, Warlock. Arms of Hadar. <clears throat> Create or destroy water has a liquid limit based on level. Yes, it's uh, well, it's character level, spell level, the amount of of uh spell points per day that you're using on it, and uh, all of those like affect how many square or how many cubic meters of water you can create or destroy, and the rain comes down as like however many like minutes or hours or rounds or whatever. But for the purposes in <sighs> For, like, combat purposes, it can be used to put out a burning surface so that we can run across it quickly. A live E druid? Fire druid. Hellish Rebuke is a spell? Huh. I've never messed with the warlock ones. I mean, he's already a wizard. And I think he's either going to get nine meters. We're going to do the polearm master. I figure that uh, Gail's either going to use staves or polearms for the rest of forever. I don't want to 
limit him to an equipment choice here, though, versus like what the character would be using normally. Part of the problem I'm having with this decision. We'll try the Warcaster thing instead. Well, uh, the free attacks with the... Mm, it's not pertinent to a spellcaster. He's supposed to stay out of range of melee in most cases anyways. This is... <sighs> frustrating. Spells require spell slots to cast unless a feature stance states otherwise. It doesn't say what ritual spells. Ritual spells don't cost a spell slot when cast outside of combat. Oh! Hmm. Let's take a look here. Was it Sorcerer that had a fine familiar option? Was it Druid? It wasn't. That was the spell option for those. Alrighty. Welcome back. We're back. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. I'm having trouble making decisions. Ooh. With which ones? Uh, there are so many spell options that uh, Gale can pick up because he's able to pick up ma Magic Initiate in other classes because he is well-read. Oh. And that means that he can pick up things outside of his usual spell selections. Um, not all of them are all that useful. But gaining abilities like Eldritch Blast, friends as a friends I can see instead of charm person being something that he would use. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, Eldritch Blast is a really big one. But also, all right, so here's the thing. If we do pull our master, uh, he's limited then to us wanting to use pull arms primarily and keeping pull arms available as, as equipment. But D and D doesn't have a like grind and replace your weapon constant thing the way that like modern action RPGs do. Yes, we will find better equipment. And yes, some equipment's going to be drastically better. But in most cases, like, you can have a person that uses just a longsword for the entirety of their character, and that never changes. Magic items are mm -hmm. usually very uncommon to come by. Um, he has a magic polearm, and it's it's got a plus to attack, plus to hit. And if we do the polearm master on him, it means that anything that comes within range while he has it equipped will automatically be attacked. Like, he'll have a self-defense buffer going on at all times, which will make his spellcasting more capable. That's what I think I'm wanting to go with. It just means that we're okay. going to have to keep him with a polearm for the rest of his career. I don't see the problem with that. I mean, okay. we could most likely buy it from future vendors and stuff like that. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. It seems like a we fun way to like really expand on his character capabilities without and th this is definitely me doing the red mage i'm reading so many manuals at once and finding the min max like whatever thing from oh wait oh wait all right <laughs> uh any viewers that actually like played or uh, played final fantasy one through four or paid any attention to the comic 8-bit theater because pixel comics sprite comics oh wow I'm really showing my age here as an artist, too. Uh, yeah, Red Mage was <sighs> the min-max character in their little D&D &D campaign. I... <laughs> I love this. This is so good. Um, cool. Good interlude. I got a lot of inventory organization handled. Uh, I want to put this silly little hat on Gale. 
Gale, show hat. Oh, it's because we're uh we're in camp, so he's not gonna wear his hat. Well, I want to get more clothing for people too. Uh he is wearing gloves of archery. Gloves of power. Everybody's got such cool gloves. Metal gloves, strength saving throws plus one, medium armor, sparkle hands on a hit with an unarmed attack. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna really not gonna be using that. Wait, the torch is an offhand slot on its own? Please. Uh, stop. It has a slot for it when you need it. My, my everything is being awful again. Wait, what the hell just happened? There we go. Okay, so huh? It takes up the slot in your inventory and not. Don't like that. Yeah, it's uh, the whack. Oh, the interference is actually affecting my headphones while I'm just sitting here, and that's why my mouse has been giving me problems. Uh, Astarian is currently holding multiple pieces of equipment, like two different helmets, a short bow, two shields. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of tossed some shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you're still carrying a bunch of scrolls. I created a scroll bag. If you, let's see, open. Yeah, feel That's free a... to take them. <laughs> There's uh... even more scrolls in my backpack. Oh I'm just sticking them into the bag as quickly as you're taking them out of whatever other one. Yeah, they're in my little pouch. Okay. Uh, we need to, when leveling up characters, hand this bag to them. Because they can use this bag to learn spells from. Okay. So I'm going to keep that in my, my inventory. Because it weighs nothing. Like, that... The bag now weighs 1.68 pounds. There's six or 0.68 pounds of paper in there. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, while you're doing um, light organization there, I'm going to do temporary AFK and use the restroom. And I'm going to play some music for folks. I'll be back. I have 56 poisoned apples. Can I eat them? I can. Oh, <laughs> 
Every time I step outside, I get so cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah. Let's see, a starian is playing some interesting music. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little dance. You got that auto tune violin. <laughs> I love how it's like strumming, but it's not even like synced to it. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right, how are you doing for uh, energy levels? Are you wanting to continue playing? Uh, I'm down to continue playing if you're down. Uh huh. I don't mind. I just want to make certain that um, I'm not keeping you all night, and then I'm not also keeping you up when you're tired, because you said you were sleepy when we started. When I'm doing something, the sleepy goes away. <laughs> okay. I was sleepy because I was just watching streams and not doing anything. Oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. Very well. Oh, right. The Withers. Hey, Withers. Fate spins along as Let's <laughs> start calling this guy Red. <laughs> Red Foreman. <laughs> or mayhaps a resurrection instead. Ooh. A new ally. Can we resurrect Timbers? Ooh. Hmm. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. Dude. John. <laughs> John. Uh, I'm not going to say I. Those are both rude. No. Come on. I can't speak with dead all the time. I ain't going to be a jerk. <laughs> I wish I could resurrect Withers. Where oh, there's uh, timber. A new ally? Very well. I guess not. I can change class. Ow! I'm sorry. Oh! Wow. <sighs> okay. So one thing I did uh, notice when I was looking at the levels on mm. Astarian, if I go to his uh, spell book mm -hmm. and I go to common, it says he's level four, right? Mm -hmm. But if I click on bard, it's level three and rogue, it's level one. So if you do like that's your split classes. Mm hmm. Like subclasses, you level the classes individually and a lot slower, I guess. It's not slower. Uh, it, it really is the amount of experience that you're gaining. When you split class, your character never gains any experience ever again in the, in the class that you started as. You have split the class. You retain oh. the skills that you learned initially as your base class uh, as long as you continue... Uh, and this is like, this is lore again. As long as you keep on working on your skills at least once per week, every week, your character gets to retain those skills. So if you're an assassin, you don't get to really do that unless you keep killing people. If you're a paladin, same kind of deal. But if you're like a ranger or something, and you split class and become a magic user, a ranger can still, like, take care of the forest and do culling and whatever else is necessary, as well as just generally 
taking care of nature and the the good of whatever uh whatever they're mm -hmm. they're loyal to and still also be able to spend time learning about spell casting and whatever else but um yeah when you split class that's that's the end of one class and the beginning of another multi-classing is done at the beginning of character creation and is where you actually uh give a 50 50 or 33 33 33 split to your different classes that you're selecting at the time of character creation uh mm -hmm. e yeah when when you chose bard that wasn't uh as far as i know that's not a, a subclass thing that's just his class now so he's two different classes and when you like look at uh, a lot of high level characters they're usually built the same way they'll have like level four fighter level eight druid or something like that mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, let's see also, the uh, sigil on the boat I posted a picture of, it is kind of interesting to me. Let me Where is the picture posted? Uh, in gaming. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, no. What is a strange symbol? Yeah, it's, it's some sort of crest on the boat, and I'm kind of intrigued by it. Um... All right. Zoom all the way in. It's a little boat. It's a boat on a boat. Mm hmm. All right, I'm going to go rest. Okay. Yep. Would you like to go to bed? Yes, I would love to go to bed. Mm hmm. Wow, we actually slept a night without having any and... problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the nightmares are in front of us, not behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I've done what I can to organize my stuff. I'm carrying a lot of... Oh, uh, how many... Who's got health potions where? I have three regular health potions, four greater health potions, all in my pouch. I'll take them out for you. Yeah, you, wait, if you have them in your pouch, uh, are they still usable? Yes, yes they are. I actually have five health potions. Okay. Yeah, I want to make certain that oh, everybody... Oh, never mind, I have, I have a lot more. I have 12. Okay. I am still having some connectivity problems. Um, I'm not even entirely sure how to fix that. It's been it really you. bugging me. One sec. I have completely messed up my audio channels. There we go. Cool. We're back. So yeah, I was going to try and break up the uh, potions a little bit. Make certain that everybody has them available. 6622. Two, split. Confirm. I'm going to give two greater healing to Gale. If my mouse will let me select them. I'm so glad we're not playing an action game right now. Like I would, I would 100% just rage quit. <laughs> the fact that we're doing something turn-based is the only reason that I'm not, like, losing my mind right now. Uh, let's see here. Split. Sure. Takes three basic potions of healing. Give those to Gale as well. Looks like Astarian has no potions. Oh, yeah, no, he doesn't. At all. Yeah. He has a poison. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's the other thing is uh, poisons, explosive arrows, different bulbs and orbs and bombs and grenades. I have so many different things in hand here. Uh, oh, yeah, I have a lot, too. Let's see. Potion of Featherfall. Split these. Give everybody one.
um, potion of flying. Since I only have three of feather fall, I'm going to give one potion that was not splitting, that was moving. <laughs> Having some problems. Okay, give that to Astarian. Flying vampire. He'll he'll learn how to do that later. Okay. Potion of sleep. I don't even know like how to properly use that. Uh, thieves tools. Since I cannot use these, do you want other characters to hold on to those? For, I guess they're not that heavy. Yeah, I've been just tossing them all in my pouch. Everybody's got their own instruments. We have three guitars, or two guitars, a violin, and a flute. <laughs> if we can teach Wither how to play the drums, we got a band. <laughs> very, very <laughs> merry Wither band we've got here. <laughs> ah, Noms the Banana Man is playing Baldur's Gate Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're set for the day. Save game. That was a lot of changes all at once for one camp. <laughs> Also, uh, Gale with a silly little wizard hat. Rest for the wicked, I see. <laughs> oh my, he does have a silly fucking wizard hat. What is that? <laughs> okay. We're here now. In, in this little dungeon, I guess. Alright, uh, leave camp. Wooden stairs. Overgrown tunnel. Somebody says away, away. Uh, why does? Hey, Gail. Spare me a moment. You can talk to Gail. I've something important to discuss with you. All right, bud. Traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. Are you a vampire? A werewolf? Keep quiet, but. He's gonna come out of the closet. But I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. He's a werewolf! The parasite we share, but just as deadly. He's gay. I think I might have a dock leaf in my bag or some medicinal berries. Thank you for the offer. But the treatment for my condition is very specific okay. what it comes down to is this every so often i need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside the what are you telling me you are addicted to magic <laughs> <laughs> hmm uh your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need the details. I would also like this illness. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It's time. And by that, I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. I just sold a plus one weapon, bud. Uh, I'd be happy to help. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. He can eat my shoes. As luck would have it. You're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What the hell? Uh... What will happen to the item I should I give to you? The magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket, but it will save my life, even if only temporarily. Okay. Well, uh, the sparkle hands were something that I didn't actually want. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go, bud. Eat that. 
Thank you. Whoa. He's got the Iron Man curse. Oh. That hit the spot. I <laughs> feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Huh. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. It's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. <laughs> Sincerely, though, mm. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Hmm. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. <laughs> she looks concerned. <laughs> Why is our map red? <laughs> I've been trying to figure that out. I think that it's, uh, we cannot hide. Stop. Please. Please. Someone's saying stop. Please. This person's Please. name is... Lovin? No, Lauren. Away. Should we... Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm traveling inside. Should we sneak? Look. Oh, she's right there. I sneak everyone. It's a little bit late for that. I'm in a conversation right now with the uh <laughs> oh, with okay. this is my personal playhouse. Whoa. And you don't have an invite. Get out. Get out. Forgive me. <laughs> I'll leave right away. <laughs> you had better. Or I'll cut you into little pieces and serve you with a slice of lemon. Ah. Oh. I can um, shoot I can shoot this light source. Don't she actually just look. Don't Oh, you leveled up. You should do that. Oh, I didn't even realize I leveled up. Please. Please. Level up. Ah, oh, what to do? Where did you find her? Who she was that? just sitting right next to the cauldron pot thing. Don't. Oh. Don't. It's an hourglass. Stop. I want whatever power she has. Oh, wait, because I realize you have a bunch of skills you're going to have to go through now. There's a skull, a standing mirror, a gnarly cauldron. Lauren. Another mirror, an hourglass, a magical studded shield. A blinded elf, family portrait, Please. somebody named Elfrin that's been turned to stone and has given me the option to pickpocket them. <laughs> somebody named Magan that has no head and they're holding it. What an interesting room. Her Don't private playhouse. Hmm. Oh. Pick up time, apparently. While you were doing that, I will roll myself a thing, because I completely missed the funny magic number. Cheers, everyone, <laughs> when we get to that point. <laughs> Ooh, triumphant music. That's weird. Random triumphant music when we're just chilling in this overgrown tunnel. After having convinced the witch that we're leaving... 
I wonder. I wonder. Don't look. Uh, Don't... I wonder if you can use your level up in the middle of combat to heal, to full heal. <laughs> I doubt it, but maybe. Mechanically, like, funny, funny thing, uh... As a DM, I would make you roll <laughs> twenty to see if your character would think about it. <laughs> to just make a prayer to the gods, asking for more power, and lo and behold, you were given it. Like, <laughs> I like that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah. Away, 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 away! I want to kill him. Keeps yelling at me. <laughs> I hate that. You've turned me into a murder hobo in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I just want him to stop. stop. Please. I guess I could have... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Gail cast sleep on this person. Or charm. So that's the thing, is I want to start using some of these magic abilities to like try and get the upper hand in a conversation against like Ethel get, get her to give us something that only she can while still alive but uh I think that time has passed let me know when you're good on skill points I'm looking through them yeah there's a lot to look at at level 4 and it's all the feats that I'm looking at it's mm -hmm. a lot you can choose to get a uh, medium equipment. Away. Away. Mm. <laughs> I am stuck in spin mode. <laughs> the puppy's on a spin cycle. <laughs> Stop. Please. Please. Away. <laughs> Wait, why do you spin slow? <laughs> I'm just a slow spinner. Alright. So a reminder to ourselves that we're going to want to uh, hold on to random greens and blues and just like storm in the camp for Gale to eat. We'll store them on you for you to give them to Gale. Because mm -hmm. I don't think any of the items that were in my inventory were shown. No, I don't think so. But, like, that conversation, I can say, please wait a little while. I guess, yeah, just okay. keeping one blue item on me at a time is probably a good idea. Um... Which, that being said, you can have these gloves. The gloves of defense. Or oh, the ones that don't defense. work. Don't yeah. Don't... All right. Let's make our way inside and provoke this witch. Oh, uh, 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 I want to try and talk to this guy. I'm gonna sneak in here, though. Hold on. Deception successful. Magran Jason. Oh, she's holding her head. Yeah, I was, I was looking at all the body and stuff here. As you edge closer to the mirror, oh, hey. a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Oh, no. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Well. My sweet cat. Oh. Oh no. Her beauty never fade. Callum who asked that his beauty never fade. My sweet Callum. Uh. His beloved asked that his beauty never fade. This person has an eye. This poor dear wish never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest. Um. I have a new weapon. Okay. What is it? You're gonna be a bit 
worried when I use it. Magrin's head? <laughs> Steel forged I sword? Can, I can use the head to As a throw. Weapon. Oh, I see. And deal damage. I don't want to take this person's stuff. I'm going to leave it. Because I think we might be able to actually save some of them. There's a giant door here. Wait, hold on. Do you think if I use the basilisk oil, which turn a petrified creature back to its organic form... Whoa, you have that? I do. I don't remember where I got it, but I have it. I'm saving the game real quick. Give that a try. Maybe you can personally save this person. No way. No way. There's guy. dialogue. What in the bloody hells is going on? You're in a hag's lair. I remember that, but I think. She turned me to stone because of the bite, of course. I can't believe you fixed it. How did you cure me? What's the bite? bite? I caught it when... Wait. You didn't... You didn't fix it. Why would you turn me back if you didn't... Oh, God! No! Oh, oh no. I, I don't want to die. I, uh, oh. Well. Did he die? He died. Damn. All right. <laughs> so this guy tried to steal from her. Stop my gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Away. Away. The two people that I've tried to help, I actually ended up killing. Now the good let's guard Look. my home. Let's have a look at myself. Maybe I should stop trying to help people really quick because <laughs> I am killing people. My turn. Oop. I walked up to the door. And now there is dialogue. Oh. No, yeah, I started dialogue too. Mustn't look, mustn't see. What a cute I owl. Pause my dialogue. Okay. Uh mustn't look at what exactly? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me dead. Dead! Flesh rotten, bone shining! Poor thing. Quietly, Sam. Splitting, knife twisting, gut spilling! All future, all bad, all the. Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please, please! Please, please, please! You're safe with me, I swear. No! No! Monster! For my dripping, flesh peeling, my flare! Oh. Look at me, I'm not a mind flare. Intention of letting that happen. Yeah. Don't. All right. We'll see. See you later, bud. Uh, you have conversation. How do I? Uh. Button. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recalls. Okay. I'll set it to private and then unprivate it. Pull through. Not again. All. 
Uh, no time to chat. I'm here to kill the hag. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Is that not the three people? Mm -mm. One of them was a human. Uh. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Hey there, Busta. We're having some interesting story tonight. All right, is there another way in? Sunshine, as the door shutters the morning. Hi, Busta. Run. If uh, I kill the uh, hag, you'll be free. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Add a bonus. Eagle Splendor. It's a level two spell slot, or one of the Bardic Inspiration. You can do both. I can do both. However, <laughs> you don't need both. Hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. So you just. Stop. Please. You just walk through? Nope. Barest hint of life from within the door. Hmm. How do we walk through the door? Don't look. A thief Don't. who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Stop. Please. Please. Your wolf did it. <laughs> Whispering mask. Four of them. I think we've hit, we may have found the thing. Part of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Do you want Where'd to put on go? the evil masks? I have four of them in hand. Oh, you grabbed all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it on. Alright. That's one for everyone. Hello. Huh? Oh. Stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you, inside you. Hey, hey yo. Yes. <laughs> I have you now, Feather. Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. You fool! Take off the mask! Now! Okay. Uh... Oh. One sec, I need to look at my own character. I also put on the mask. Equip my other helmet. Do you want to take it off? Uh, see if you can walk through the door. Look myself. Don't look. Don't... Wait, what? What did you say about yourself? We're, we're fighting me. Please. Yeah, we can... I have the mask on. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take it off? No. Oh, okay. Meowch. Hag's pawn, ephemeral whispers. Alrighty then. Hey there, Filton. How's it going? The fuck is sluggardly? I don't know. That's a Can't weird make an word. opportunity attack. Oh, okay. I don't want to use Hail of Thorns, I could easily ki Oh, hey, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, passives, non-lethal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, run up. <laughs> that won't work. Stop. Please. 
One more point of damage and it'll knock you out. Bloodlists. I feel a bit weary. Yeah, it's let me because, kill you. Uh, I had Astarian bite me. Oh, I completely missed that. <laughs> <laughs> can't reach destination. Why can't I reach you? This would have been a lot cheaper to just good. use a short rest. Okay. Yeah. Stop. Are we just gonna kill this door? Apparently, the masks were a bad idea. Hold on, I'm trying the mask again. Oh no. Because when I have it on, I can walk through the door. Oh. Oh, we can all walk through the door now. Alright, come on, oh. everyone. Okay. Now you should probably take it off. I did. Okay. Now we should also un non lethal damage. Oh, yep. Got that. Do you wanna have a star and do the short rest stung? I mean we could just use one of the short rests. Yeah, let's do that. Uh wah. there we go. Have to leave for work? Oh. Yeah, have a good day at work, hon. Bye, folks, and bye bye. Oh, don't cap. There's a mushroom here. The Starian mm -hmm. Lost Condition Bless. What's in here? Oh. What is that? Mask of Servitude, Mask of Vengeance, Mask of Regret, Mask of Terror. Where is she? She's not even in here. These are just random people. I guess we're murdering. Keep going. Nice shot. God dang. This will hit the same target if I get... Okay, never yeah. Oh, hey, non lethal damage qualifies for spellcasting? Oh, maybe not. Frightened? Curse of Terror? Huh. How about Curse of So Many Arrows on you? No? Okay. What about Immobile Frightened? Uh. Hmm. Protection from Evil and Good. So, immune to frightened. There we go. Now I can run into various locations. I can get high ground advantage in here if I climb up one of these vines. You wouldn't happen to have the scroll bag on you, would you? I do. In that scroll bag, I have a scroll of misty step. Allowing you to teleport anywhere uh, that you can see. Excellent. Very powerful. Can't use uh, anything else yet because I used my ability, but... Now you have high ground. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. That was very powerful, and now I have to consider getting her um, a level in apprentice, <laughs> apprentice Wizard so she can use Misty Step. Do you know what that would do for a ranger in this game? A teleporting ranger? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, I'm here now. Speaking of... Oh, there you go. Because he knows it. He knows the spell and has the ranger gloves. They're all rolling wisdom saving throws. Yeah, it's because Maybe my... Maybe we shouldn't do 
lethal damage on them. What you casting? Oh, nice. Hideous laughter. Very effective. Good job. And then I will lorsh this motherfucker. I wonder if Never you can rip mind. the mask I off them. Actually... If I walk up here, then surely I'm in range to forge. There we go. The game just straight up lied to me before. It was like, oh no, you can't do that. Ha ha. Hmm. Oh, we can also shoot yeah. the bulbs above them. Drop them. Mm. Range shot. Can she get the... Not enough movement. Not enough movement. Okay. That's fine. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Keep going. Okay. Magic missile. Okay. And turn. I won't. I won't do it. Ouch. Whoa. We've almost got vengeance down. Are we killing these people? No, we're set to non lethal, aren't we? No, we're not. What happened? Uh, go to passives at the bottom and click non-lethal. Where is passives at the bottom? So in the bottom you have, like, common wizard items, or in this case it'll be, like, bard items, passives, custom. Oh, uh, I see. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Party gained experience. So it still qualifies as a kill in combat. He is conditioned happy. What does that mean? Uh, oh. He gets a bonus on his uh, attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Nice. Person just used two different abilities in one round. Why is my level one conjuration <clears throat> on miss thorn still explode on save target still take half damage from the explosion thorns deal five to twelve explosion then deals an additional one to ten piercing damage what a strange ability or I could just do five to twelve damage outright in a single shot hmm. We'll, we'll try th the this thing. Saved, but still took seven damage. Drink a potion? Not enough. Okay. Well, uh, crouch. No. Common. I cannot. Melee range weapon. Light source. Dual wielding. Opportunity. Ask. That should just be a thing. I guess it's. I see that chances. Hmm. Okay. 
Mask of Regret is down to one. Mask of Vengeance is down to one. I didn't realize he got Regret. Nice. Um, uh, too far. Disadvantage. Oh, oh, oh. I can just outright... Let's see. Let me walk a little closer here. Hold person. You don't get to do anything for the next 10 turns. Well, you can just walk oh, right wow. over. Yep. In fact, while I'm at it, I can misty step my way over here. And I can start punching. <laughs> ah, wolf. Wolf does not have very good movement here. Yeah, it's all the mud. Um, go over here to threaten. Okay, and turn. Miss. You missed a stationary target. <laughs> it also said try something else, which is interesting to me. It tells me there might be something going on story-wise. Let's see if I can do this without hitting go. Oh, that is such a good screenshot. God damn it, Gale, why do you have to be so close? There we go. Oh, nice. Go bam Oh, that actually just fucking knocked one out? shot. <laughs> Hell Holy yeah. Shit. Oh, they're Shit. dead. <laughs> you just killed them. Oh. <laughs> they're not knocked out, Wh they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess don't use ice knife when, uh... Oh, the, yeah. spla the secondary splash attack is what killed him. I get it. Oh, yeah. Alright, well... Slap. That would do it. And turn. Uh, walk over here. We're all such a non-legal... You have one health. Just fireball. Missed. You have the spider kill him. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I don't get to do that. Yeah, the dog's not allowed. I guess. But the spider got it. Okay. He's also dead. Well. Oopsies. Yeah. Oh well. We tried. Sorry, we people. We did. We saved half of them. Dudded leather armor. And a longbow. You want some better leather? Yeah, I just found uh, studded leather on the other guy, too. Nice. More masks. A faded note. I'll read it. Poisonous slime bomb. We read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Hmm. You know what? I just realized something. We haven't run hmm. across any tabaxi. What's a tabaxi? Cat people. Ah. I don't think that's a thing in this game, though. That is. And that's why they have a name in D&D. &D. They're the tabaxi. <laughs> Found a pouch over here. Some mushrooms over here. Hmm. 
So I also think I found the way out. I'm going to save. <clears throat> okay. So there's noxious gases down here. Uh, does anybody have the ability to push? I have mage and... <laughs> I'm gonna return to... Uh, yeah. Maybe Thunder Wave would do it. I don't think Thunder Wave will. But I'm gonna have everybody start crouching again. We could try lighting the gas on fire. Oh, true. I'm gonna have everybody step away from the cloud for that, though. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Wonder All what right. would happen if I do this. Are you too good over there for me to try this? Or do you want to step back? I was checking what one of my abilities do on Astarian. I got mm. a new bard ability. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, oh it's right. days. Uh, it might disappear in a second. You just gotta wait. Well, thankfully uh, this is a cantrip, so he can just cast it over and over. Oh, I oh it did not go. It did not I go away. I destroyed the ladder. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Well. Push away all creatures and objects. Let's try. Walk over here. Nope. Nope. Well, taking the ladder down would have brought us into the gas as well. Uh, do we have... Let me check. Someone doesn't like visitors. Peculiar flower. Well, hold on. That gives me an idea. Where's that... Uh, why is it still exploding? I'm glad you're both okay. I did not mean for that to happen while you were doing that. So I can just misty step my way through here. Or well, one of my characters can. I was going to look at the book of spells, or book of spells, the bag of spells, to see if we had a uh, scroll of gust. <laughs> Where to go from here is the question. Blur, web, fog cloud, sleep, crown of madness, chromatic orb, dark vision, bone chill, web, speak with dead, speak with dead. Summon Wait a closet? Second. We can summon a closet? That's going to be one that we want to learn later. You wouldn't Blur, happen to have Featherfall, would you? I have a scroll of Featherfall, and everybody has a potion of Featherfall. Mm, What's your plan? I mean... We could just jump down. Yeah. Be careful. There are traps about. Hmm... So you destroyed the flower and it didn't do nothing? Yeah, I destroyed the flower and it just kept exploding more. Well, yeah, because there was, there was more than one peculiar, peculiar flower. Hmm. <laughs> Invisible mage hand.
Oh, you're using the mage hand to try and disarm things? Yeah, and it worked. Oh. Well, it disarmed it. I don't know if it's gonna make the gas go away. I mean, knowing that. It didn't. Okay, so I see where we need to go, though. Well, I'm gonna apply my... Yeah, I have one, too. Just fly around for a little while. Cannot get there. Ancient abode. Just scanning around down here. I see this as minus 5 HP. Actually, minus... Yeah, minus 5 HP if I just jump down. She says, leave me here. I want to throw her. <coughs> Jeez. The mage hand can control this orb. Oh, I found Athel. You also just got into a fight. <laughs> I mean, if she wants to make her way over here while everything's all explosive and we aren't, like we're on the other side of the explosives, I'll let her. If she wants to get into a fight with the mage hand, she can. I'm I'm in for this. <laughs> what a strange situation. Uh, we'll just hop my way back on over then. <laughs> What's your dog doing? Uh, hopping. Minus two HP, not enough space, path is interrupted. Minus three HP, damn. My dog yeah, so it's either it use the well. potion of flying or use the potion of feather falling. Yeah. Or the scrolls of feather falling. Uh, I mean, we can go... Oh, that fight's over. That's weird. It doesn't show it anymore. She doesn't consider yeah, us a threat up here. Your maid Chen disappears. Alright. Uh, I'm down to do the, the feather fall thing. I'm also down to just try and run through here and then do a long rest. <laughs> okay. I'll be the test subject. Right. I'm intelligent, not wise. I see it's noxious gas. Okay, you saved. Oh, that's... What does that mean? That's it? Oh, well... I took one damage. Okay. Puppy, jump. I mean, try to jump past... Nope. Oh, I just took three damage from that fume. Okay. Oh, that's... oh, explosive flowers. Okay, wolf died. What I will do... Complete. Save Mayrina. Oh. I'm, I'm afraid glad. we haven't saved her. Yeah, I think she may be dead. Uh... Oh. Level 2 spell slot. Oh. Oh, yeah, she... She's definitely dead. Okay. Looking at the cage and the the chasm below <laughs> and the uh the cage that is no longer there. Heavy objects are placed dead. over vents to stop anything dangerous exploding forth. Click and drag to move. Oh, this was a physics puzzle. You're supposed to drop stuff into this. Oh. Um, 
Uh, I'm gonna get Hoppy. A spider yeah, knows where to go. Jump past it. She just jumped onto the explosives. Good job, lady. Okay. Uh. Moving ahead. We. We hit hop, hibbity hop, hop, the hibbity hop, 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 hibbity. Over here. And. Long rest. Cannot enter, end the day while party what? Is in a danger zone. Oh, well, we can do a short rest at least. I think it's the spider. Oh no, it's it's the red map that we have. Oh. Uh, oh, no <clears throat> stop! Get out of! Move! <laughs> Fade. Also, where is the hag? Oh. Spider. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. What <laughs> <laughs> New well, there she is. Failing perception check system. Okay. Oh, did the girl die? So very sad. Not really surprised. Tragic. I am in tears. Hmm. Uh oh. That's not terrifying. Uh. Oh. Oh. She's a lot stronger than. No. Oh. Okay. okay. How to deal with this? Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about a few things here. Okay, so she... Those are illusory. That one might be real. I missed. Okay, that okay, one's real. So that one is the real one. So, I, if I can get Gale to just shove her off the cliff... <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, I cannot reach destination. That also could mean losing out on loot. True. Ah, she got an attack of opportunity. Everybody's in the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's crowded right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna start like wailing with as much uh, raw damage as I can. Okay. Ooh, uh oh. Hmm. The other two hers haven't disappeared. We haven't done damage to them. I thought they'd disappear once we find the real one. Holy shit, that's 23 damage. Wow. And hold person on two of us. Uh-oh. Mm. So that being said, usually, if we are to... Uh, 
should free Gale. All right. And now, if uh, oh. I'm just gonna back up for a sec. You're good. Um, if you could, if you keep closing in like that, I can't actually attack with the wolf. Oh. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now, that works. And um, if you can have Gale hit the one that's far away. Yeah. The extra one of her, it'll free out Sylved from the old person. Okay. Sylvan Stone. We also might be able to stop her by taking this orb. Uh, I'm checking my ability set here. True Strike. Gain advantage on next attack roll. 55%. I'm gonna do what I can to guarantee this hit, but high defense, yeah, true strike. Not target cell. You. Um. We'll see. We'll see if that was backwards of what was supposed to be. I think that just buffed the witch, but we'll see. Uh, he's holding concentration of true strike, so the next time that he strikes her, he'll gain advantage on the attack. Alternatively, okay. we'll jump over here and... Okay, there we go. And now, so bad can now take her turn to piercing strike and flourish. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, explodes in a spray of acid. I don't want to do ones that deal additional damage to everybody else. Holy Water deals damage to fiends and undead. Oil of Accuracy receives plus two bonus to attack rolls. Weakening Strike inflicts weak grip, hindering the target's attacks. I'm thinking, I'm sorry. Very good. Oh, Damn it. Sixty. Why do you miss so much, you sexy fuck? <laughs> Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned and fall asleep. Drow poison. With a hamstring shot. Again. Missed! Hey, the agony. Uh. Just keep biting. Uh, mage hand. Over here. And turn. Spider. Jump over here. Attack. Just keep threatening. Uh, oh! Okay, this uh, again. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's the same as last time. No, that's that's a whole other one. Let's see. I can get the two closer Try ones. Well. Okay. Seriously? Forty-five, fifty-five. Okay. No, 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 no. This thing. This thing. Hello? Are you kidding me? I guess the orb isn't anything special. It was. 
I'll go over there and try to throw it. <laughs> throw, fly, shove, glide. Okay. And turn for that thing. You can also punch with the mage hand, which I need to remember is a funny way to like add to your combat capabilities as a mage. <laughs> Because that can uh, apply threat to your targets, giving you like way better chances in combat. Go bite it. Oh, that'll work. What a noise! So bad. <laughs> oh, I forget my spider gets attacks of opportunity. Uh. Is that bone? Oh no! Yeah, you just gotta find out which one's the real one. Yeah, this one's one of be... us is getting free. Yeah. Okay, okay. Astarian's getting free, but Sylvan's still stuck. Uh, I'm gonna drink a potion. Oh. So the real one's in the middle here. Damn it. Spell a day. Fly back over. <laughs> uh, I think fly in. What? Cast Poison Cloud. Good. <laughs> wow. Fuck through the fucking uh, opportunity. Oh. oh, we still have non-lethal damage. That's fine. Uh, let's see your passes. Off. There you go. Die, witch. Are you okay. serious? Or not? Uh, not enough movement. Fine. And get in here. There, and turn. Really? I'm string shot, no. Brace, no. Piercing strike, no. Where's throw? Throw, returning pike. 25, okay. 45. Just use your spells. Dang it. How are we all missing? Uh, it's up to you, little spider. I know. <laughs> Let's go. You should get out of that poison cloud while you can. Oh, yep. Let's see. This is no longer a dangerous zone. We can camp. Yeah, what does she have on her body? I'm curious. A flammable slime blob, a poisonous slime bomb, tarnished charm, it's a necklace, makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Horlon's Grace, natural pugilist, gain a plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. While the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws, also gains topple. Gale can absorb this item's magic. Good. We'll keep both of those for that. <laughs> Yoink. What else is around here? Uh, Maria's body of a woman. Yeah. She's down there. Somewhere. Some say you can still hear her screaming to this day. I didn't even hear her screaming on our way down. No, she fell and died. Essence of Sylvan Stone. Yeah, what is that? It's a rock. No, you. It's you, Rock Knife. It is a rock with no purpose. Better not be cursed. 
Oh, we should rest. Open this door. Well, there's something going on here. We should definitely rest. <laughs> How do I... What was the button to... Un-camera? The sky view camera? I don't know. What was that? Tactical view. Uh... Wow. Was it T? R? I think it's O. O for observe. Oh, yep, there you go. Okay. Alrighty. Do you want to rest before doing this? Sure. Okay. Yeah. We need those spell slots. <laughs> you badly. Very much so. I will have an explanation. What? Could you two stop fighting? No. I won't warn you again. I this think this is... A... Yeah, this is you. Yeah. I'm gonna watch the argument unfold. To my kin, an heirloom. I will have it back. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. Went harder. You had every chance to look the other way, but here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Oh, snap. Hmm. I love the, like, badass biker chick, I, like, clothes that I got. Like, what is yeah. this outfit? <laughs> when did you get this look? I'm loving it. <laughs> Stop, you don't have to do this. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not Hi Koi! I didn't even see and I'll show Dang. You. We need her, Shadow Heart. Give her a chance. Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. God, I wish they made out right then and there. Honestly, like, there's some <laughs> energy there. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Glad I wasn't actually, the only one thinking it. She actually thought about that. Lazelle actually was taken aback. Oh, we're in a cave this time. This is a cute camp. Wow. Um. We're also all full health now. We didn't even... That was the long rest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. You gonna go talk to Lizelle? No, I was looking around the little cave camp. Mm -hmm. So, the problem with the camps is I guess they're different. So, the ornate chest that we put down is no longer here. That's concerning, but it seems like it does exist in the forest place when we go back, because the previous chests that we had set down were still there. Yeah. 
It's like a little secret hideout. That's interesting. Mm. Just goes exploring the cave on her own. So the traveler's chest is what stays all of the time. Mm-hmm. What's my boyfriend up to? <laughs> oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight the death over that. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. <laughs> oh, that armor looks good. I dyed it blue. Uh, I'm not letting you feed on me, you little fuck. <laughs> Fuck having bloodless. It gives me a negative one to all my rolls. I'm gonna go talk to Shadowheart. I don't think there'll be any more trouble. Poor Will hasn't been talked to ever. <laughs> we can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. What did you two do after we went to sleep? I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly. But yes. Join me. Leave. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> I just I can't unhear the Diablo two Huntress or Diablo two Diablo four Huntress. Uh, her the voice actress only be being given one line for everything. So for <laughs> just the word leave, she's always leave, like angry every time. <laughs> leave. Okay. All right, Sandy. It is 1 a.m. and I actually am tired. <laughs> the sleepiness caught up to me. Yay! We did it! We beat it! We beat the, the weakness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will save the game here, and we will continue our story again later. This was an absolute blast. Heck yeah. I had fun. I loved playing this game. I love playing this game. And I'm... Yeah. Excited to play it more. Yes, we'll have to do this again soon. Um, let me see here. Oh, I should also turn on my weird music. I want to say, uh, I have plans for this Friday to do another collab stream with Koi, but other than that, it's just going to be like more intermittent other stuff that we're going to be playing, whatever looks good for the day. Uh, probably roguelikes and story time for tomorrow and the day after, but if you're open Thursday, I'd be down to play again. Heck okay. yeah. Alright. We'll shoot for then. Uh, for everybody else, I will see you all tomorrow evening about 9pm Mountain Standard Time, and we'll be seeing either to do community vote games or just some general roguelikes. Let's go see who we want to raid into. McCoy did say he's... Yep. Let's do, that. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's strange at this point that it doesn't like fill in when I type in Koi. It doesn't think I'm going to go to him specifically. It's like, <laughs> who else then? Who else would I? <laughs> Anyways. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight, for all those that were in the chat and those hanging out in the background, and for those that decide to watch the VOD. Super appreciate all your support. It was an absolute blast. And thank you, Stone, for hanging out with me tonight. This was really fun. Look we'll to do this Heck again. Yeah. Uh, we'll start this raid here and do a green glow dog raid. I absolutely love that screenshot. It's got my freaking flutes and sword <laughs> on my back. <laughs> casting ice knife with the it's so good. fucking gnome next to me. It's so good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Thank you, Dan, for hitting that Discord. Let's all head out. See you soon. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Sorry for kind of leaving you stranded with, like, no explanation for a bit.